Um, I'm glad that the, there is something of a thaw in London. Um, it's interesting to hear that uh, Heathrow cancelled all those flights to, to minimise the disruption. Well, my 35-minute flight was delayed by five and a half hours today. So it wasn't badly disrupted. Even that. first class, Alan, doesn't I, stop you getting delayed, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I could have walked quicker than that. Anyway, never mind uh, my enthusiasm for travelling to London on a day like this. Let me give you the two lineups. And by the way, the handshakes went through fine. There was no difficulty over the handshakes. Uh, Chelsea's goalkeeper is the captain today, Czech. Then the defence is Ivanovic, Louise, and Cahill making his debut. Basingba playing at left back. Then in midfield, it, uh, it seems to be Essien Morales and Mata perhaps playing a little bit deeper than he has of late with Sturridge and Maluda wide and Torres through the middle. Uh, Patrice Alvarez, the Manchester United captain. The goalkeeper is De Gea. The defence is Rafael, Ferdinand, Evans and Evra. In midfield, Valencia, Carrick, Giggs and Young. And uh, we hope to see them play two up front, Welbeck and Rooney. Well, I don't know if you just caught it on the monitor, Alan, but we just saw something very, very interesting. Uh, David Luiz and Fernando Torres almost bowing their heads together. Luiz with his hands on top of Torres's head, uh, both with their eyes closed. Uh, looked like they were having a, a little bit of a prayer. Um, I think, you know, hopefully one can defend properly um, and one can attack. I was going to say, Luiz saying, I hope we don't make a mistake. And Fernando saying, I hope I score. Well, we'll see soon enough. The referee is hard web. It's always a momentous game, this Chelsea against Manchester United, especially so in the last 10 years. Chelsea off the pace of the Premier League, but Manchester United needing victory to go alongside Manchester City once more. Hardware checking with his two assistants that uh, everything is fine. And let's just hope it's a really good game of football. So often these uh, seemingly titanic clashes uh, don't work out that titanic. We're underway. Manchester United in their red shirts, white shorts and black socks uh, defending at the end to our left and they had kicked off Valencia uh, playing on the right side of midfield and Ashley Young on the left it's great to see uh, not just from a Manchester United perspective but from an England perspective Ashley Young back yeah it's a, he did very very well um, at the start of the season you know it was fantastic the way he was attacking and going forward Manchester United for me you know just on paper you know, look an attack inside, but they look balanced as well, you know, on both wings. Giggs in there, a bit of experience. Obviously, Carrick will sit. Uh, I think, you know, they United really today, you know, have to set out a marker. Here's Three Ro points behind City. You know, they really got to win this game. Rooney just sitting a little uh, deeper than Welbeck. Plays the ball to the left side to Young. Back to Evra. Evra skips past a, a nothing challenge on Maluda. And then was he tripped? I think he was by Michael Essie. And Hardware was only a few yards... Uh, away from that incident decides it's worthy of a free kick and it's in a good position for Manchester United just five six yards outside the Chelsea penalty area Chelsea have hardly had a kick yet well this could be a first real test for Louise and uh, Gary Cahill in there who are they going to mark can they get it organized again I thought it was a little bit of a, a soft free kick Evera seems to almost well it was like a, a tree falling over he went down very very slowly um, but the referee decided to give it and now Chelsea got to defend his free kick well, it's either Rooney or Ashley Young it's inside left position so it'll be a right footed shot on goal early stages at Stamford Bridge it's Rooney, Rooney hits it over the wall but it's also wide of goal and check and um, watch that comfortably uh, skirt past his right hand upright I, know, I don't know if you saw the Ancelotti interviews in the papers today but Ancelotti was bemoaning the fact that um, well, I think it was last April uh, when Chelsea went to Old Trafford they conceded a very early goal and we're on the back foot thereafter. And that put pay to their hopes of winning the Premier League title. In fact, that was a, a huge, uh, massive game, um, which strangely enough, you know, I, I was at. And I remember David Luiz playing quite well that day. Um, you know, was that was full stick of in your mind then, Danny. Well, exactly. You know, I was, I was <laughs> surprised. Even Old Trafford was bringing the ball down, you know, in his own penalty area, uh, you know, playing little Cruyff turns and, and little one-twos on the edge of the box. And I thought at that time, you know, he looked a real good buy uh, and a good defender. Hasn't quite continued in, in that vein of form. Luis himself plays the ball back to Petr Cech and Cech uh, in a largely white goalkeeping outfit hits it upfield. Here's Mata. Mata did really well. Um, didn't get the return pass from Surrey that he required though. And here's Michael Carrick for the champions Manchester United. Whiffing the ball away to the far side towards Young. Young 
on to Rooney, 10 yards over the halfway line, down the United left, playing it infield, but that should be intercepted by Chelsea, it is finally, and it's taken up uh, by Chelsea, played in the direction of Torres, but it wasn't a good pass, and then it was partially cleared by Manchester United, and uh, then there was a, a foul on Michael Carrick, and it's a free kick to United. But there again, you know, that's what Fernando Torres needs. You know, he pulled off. It was a very, very good movement. He bent his run, was looking to, to dart in behind the fullback, and Maluda let him down with a pass. You know, and, and that's been half of, I think, Torres's problems as well. You know, he hasn't had that real quality ball like Steven Gerrard used to play for him. Chelsea uh, fully 15 points behind the leaders, Manchester City, but remarkably, you know, that, that's actually a point more than they had at the same stage last season. Let's get a, an update on the Six Nations, Ireland against Wales, Andy Gillies. Four minutes into half-time, uh, after half-time, and Ireland have extended their advantage, a Jonathan Sexton penalty makes it 13 points to five. Also, the Sam Warburton, the Welsh captain, has gone off injured at half-time. 13-5 to Ireland. Here at Stamford Bridge in the Barclays Premier League, coverage on five live, Chelsea nil, Manchester United nil. Four minutes gone. Ferdinand being booed by the Chelsea fans, and he made him an error there. Uh, Ferdinand, Torres, good ball to the far side and Sturridge, Sturridge approaching the United penalty here, into it, tried to pull the ball back uh, towards Torres but it was too close to the hair and the goalkeeper catches it quite simply. Yeah, again United almost at their own downfall there, Rio giving the ball away, allowed Chelsea to break, Sturridge just on his right foot, a little bit of a swinger really to try and get it across the face of goal and trickled into De Gea's arms. Uh, I think the booing of Ferdinand um, was because of his interview on Football Focus yesterday on the BBC when he had some pertinent things well, that he again, felt he had to say about John Terry. I said last week, as a player... Here's um, Louise almost getting himself into trouble. Sorry, Danny, I thought he yeah. was uh, making as a mess of that in the penalty area, but he got away with it. As a player, you're always going to get stick, as Ever did last week um, against Liverpool. As long as it stays at booing, uh, you know, you accept that as a player. You know, that's part and parcel of it, and you can deal with that. So, you know, as long as it stays at that and doesn't go beyond that, then I think you know you have to say you know that is part and parcel of football. Morales wide to Mata uh, down the far side of the Chelsea right, and uh, Mata just leads the ball back for Morales. We've got Maluda down the left, Sturridge largely on the right, and that's where Torres is at the moment. Uh, Sturridge ignoring Torres, plays it back to Morales once more. Uh, pedestrian from Chelsea, no great pace involved in this forward movement, and then Sturridge. Well, goodness gracious, the shot was ten yards wide. Well, oh, he's, he's, got a deflection. he's got a corner out of it, um, I think, fortunate. Uh, again, it looks like a little bit of almost desperation. Uh, you know, Chelsea passing the ball side to side, nowhere really to go forward, and, and Sturridge hit a, an ambitious shot from 25, 30 yards, and fortunate for him, uh, got a deflection, they've got a corner. Matic is it to take the corner, left-footed. Uh, Chelsea have got four players uh, standing within a couple of yards of De Gea, who didn't enjoy that kind of treatment at Anfield in the FA Cup. Mata waits, and now he throws the free kick in a bit deeper than perhaps he wanted. Played out by Ivanovic, and then a wild shot by Maluda, but again, it, take, it took a deflection, I think, off Ryan Giggs, and it's going to be another corner. Well, I, I just look at that last corner, that the delivery was poor in the end from Mata. Wasn't it? But what they've done, they're putting everybody in on the six-yard box, and they're leaving a huge gap between the six-yard box and the penalty area. That's where they want the ball to go, and that's where people will be tumbling in to attack the ball. Different tactic now, Cahill and Ivanovic largely around the edge of the penalty area. Now it's played in this time by Morales, deep looking for Ivanovic. He heads it down, Torres is there, and De Gea's punch was feeble. Lucky to get the ball out of his penalty area. Morales shoots into the side netting. Well, again, Chelsea, this is obviously something they've been working on. Cahill went right round the back, dragged everybody out, and it fell to Ivanovic, who's very, very good in the air. It just popped up, uh, I think, off Carrick's head. De Gea, for me, came, he went to catch that, changed his mind at the very, very last minute and punched it round about chest height almost. Could have easily caught that. But again, the sort of confidence he's got at the moment, you know, surprising that he doesn't want to try and catch it. And then really, by better luck than judgment, it fell to Morelos, who, who hit it into the side netting. It's no lack of height. I mean, he's six foot four, but he's a, he's a skinny rake in terms well, of his build. Well, he, he does look a boy uh, in a man's world. Uh, I think the only saving grace for him is that Eric Steele, who worked with Joe Hart when he first came to Man City, uh, is the uh, United goalkeeper coach. You know, did an awful lot of work with Joe Hart, you know, and built him up and, and turned him from boy into man. Here's Giggs from Manchester United, back to Carrick in the centre circle, and onto the near side it comes the United right and Raphael to Rooney. 
Rooney back to Valencia. It was a top pass for Valencia to take. He did well to find Rafael. Back it goes to Rooney. A couple of yards outside the penalty area. He eludes uh, Maluda very easily. Shoots at goal. Comes back off Essien. But then Essien in the penalty area. Doesn't clear it well. Now it's with Ashley Young in the danger area for Chelsea. Uh, Young trying to get past Morelos. Ball breaks for Young and then he's pulled down, was he? No, oh, yes. That's a the assistant is... No, that's a booking. That's a blatant dive, Alan. He's thrown himself to the ground. Howard Webb should book him for that. Well, I, when the assistant fly, I've got to say, I thought his shirt was being pulled. But, I mean, his shirt was being pulled. He did die. There's no question about that. But there was a tug in his shirt. The tiniest of, t- tiniest of, tiniest of tugs. Maybe a couple of fingers. But the way he threw himself to the ground, desperately tried to give a penalty. The linesman gave a free kick. And I, therefore, yeah. I think if he's, in this day and age, if they've given the free kick for what is simulation or, or a dive, then surely the yellow card has to come out. Uh, Fergie's glaring in the direction of Hardware. Perhaps he thought that it was perhaps more of a penalty than a dive. Anyway, I'd had enough of Adam Johnson uh, at uh, the Etihad last night. We don't need Ashley Young as well, for goodness sake. Well, I thought it was only foreigners who were supposed to dive in the well, English game. Well, un- unfortunately, you know, players have got wise to it, you know, and they will make contact uh, with defenders. You know, they will go down and, and let the referee make a decision. And I think that's, came, that's what Adam Johnson came out and said after the game. He said, yes, there was contact. You know, the player didn't move, I ran into him, uh, and the referee gave a penalty. There's a shot uh, from Basingua from fully 40 yards, bounced uh, once in front of De Gea, but he got his body behind it, the goalkeeper, and uh, caught it quite easily. Nearly 10 minutes played here on 5 Live. Chelsea nil, Manchester United nil. Earlier in the Premier League, Newcastle 2, Aston Villa 1. Terrific run of results for Newcastle United goes on. Here's Torres for Chelsea. Torres, uh, not tripped by Raphael, Hardware was very close by, he thought it was a fair challenge that the Raphael took the fall. Torres is down, not injured I'm sure, he's back on his feet now. Chelsea have the ball back though. Um, Sturridge, uh, trying to step over, loses it. And here come Manchester United forward over the halfway line. Uh, Giggs, right in the centre circle. Uh, Giggs, now running through the middle, playing it towards Welbeck. Welbeck, oh got past Cahill! Welbeck went down, he thinks he was fouled, and again, hard web. I well, was actually I, pointing at the player, thinking it's I more think, of a dive. I think, I think I might have given a penalty there. So do I. I Cahill slid in, and it was there was definitely penalty. contact for that's me. A penalty. It may have just started outside the box, you know, when they both initially slid in together, and then the final contact. But either way, it's either a free kick or well, a penalty. Well, definitely, definitely for me, a free kick. Cahill nowhere near the ball. There was contact. You know, and Welbeck was tripped. And Fergie's out, uh, demonstrating with the fourth official. I don't blame him. Here's Carrick from Manchester United. Started much the better of the two teams. To Rooney, back towards Carrick in the penalty area. And then it's flicked away from that box by Morel. As out of play, it goes for a throw into Manchester United. Who dominated the opening exchanges here. Uh, Raphael with a throw in. Uh, to Rooney. Rooney's always quite difficult to pick up, isn't he, Danny? When he just drops off. His uh, well, partner I, I striker. Think, I think that's why Rooney's his best position. You know, playing with Welbeck up front, who stretches the game. He can just pop into those little holes. Valencia to Welbeck, back to Valencia. A couple of yards outside the penalty. And then he's tackled by Mata. Mata takes the ball off him, and Chelsea can bring it clear. But only Torres is in an advanced position, and Mata makes an awful mess of that. Uh, Giggs to Rooney. Rooney onto Welbeck. Welbeck's offside. Just. But again, it's Rooney. You know, dropping off that centre forward. I think when Rooney plays up front on his own. It's very, very difficult for him. He's one of the best number 10s uh, that you'll get. And we see it again. You know, it, Cahill slides in. He gets a little bit of the ball on the first slide. But then as they continue to slide, he just puts his leg out again and then brings Welbeck yes. down. It's almost... The first one isn't. And I think that's what Howard Webb has seen. He's seen the initial contact on the ball. But then I think Cahill's on the floor. You know, that the tackle wasn't big enough. The touch wasn't big enough to get the ball away. And I think Welbeck would have been in, and I think Gary Cahill knew exactly what he was doing there. Here's Torres trying to get forward into the United penalty area, but Evans did well, getting it back to De Gea and clearing it. Collected by Michael Essien. Essien forward. Uh, plays it to the left side, and Molluda did not want that as much as Raphael did. The fullback made the tackle and puts it out of play for a throw in, a Chelsea throw in. Uh, goes back to Basingua, playing left back today, in towards Torres. Torres uh, tried to get a, a diving header there on goal, but didn't make proper contact and it's cleared up field by Manchester United here's Gary Cahill I'm sure he thought he'd be making his uh, 
Chelsea debut alongside John Terry. Or maybe Ivanovic. But David Luiz? Well, again, you know, maybe. Um, you know, he, he could be the, the calm and influence, if you like. Uh, but just going back to that, I think he was very, very fortunate. It's the sort of tackle that, as a defender, you know, when a centre forward's in and you haven't made that tackle, you almost know exactly what you're doing. The sort of thing you would do in training, you know, to, to stop a goal scoring opportunity. I, I think he's very, very fortunate uh, that Howard Webb didn't see that, that second contact. 13 minutes gone, nil-nil here at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea and Manchester United. Ashley Young gets past two challenges, finds Rooney, goes for the return ball. Young had been fouled, but uh, Howard Webb played the advantage. And then Ashley Young rather dived in on Ivanovic. I don't think Ivanovic is really badly hurt. Though, of course, he did the customary couple of rolls. And he's a tough guy, for goodness sake, get up. Let's get an update from the Six Nations, Andy Gillies. 54 minutes gone, Wales have finally got a kick between the posts. Lee Halfpenny taking over the kicking duties has landed a penalty, reduced the deficit. Ireland 13, Wales 8. And a try at Wigan, Dave Woods. 15 minutes of the second half played, it's now Wigan 12, Huddersfield 14. Lan Patrick with a try for Huddersfield, off the bench and finishing some thrilling approach play. Bruff converted, but Liam Farrell's just got born back for Wigan, so it's game on again. Richards converted that, Wigan 12, Huddersfield 14. Here at Stamford Bridge in the 15th minute of the game, it's Chelsea nil, Manchester United nil. We've hardly seen anything of Chelsea in attack, Danny. No, not at all yet, but you know, it's been a, a very good start to the game, high tempo, uh, almost a little bit frantic at times. Uh, plenty of action and both teams you know look, look really up for this game obviously United have to go and win this uh, to to peg back Manchester City and, and, and Chelsea need to restore a little bit of pride well uh, Villas Boas uh, thinks that Chelsea will definitely finish in the top four but there's no there's no guarantee of that uh, they're being pressed by Arsenal by Newcastle and by Liverpool it's four for one spot if you assume that Tottenham are going to finish in the top three and I increasingly feel that Here's Morales for Chelsea. Uh, to the debutant, Cahill. Just to the right of the centre circle. On to Michael Essien. I'm talking about being good to see some players back from long-term injury. Great to see Essien back. He is an outstanding midfield player. Now Maluda. Of whom I'm not sure that could ever be said. Maluda to Mata. Uh, Mata midway inside the United half. And now Morales. Uh, Morales uh, to Sturridge. Sturridge. Uh, to Mata, again it's very patient but pedestrian play by Chelsea and finally it was a loose pass by Mata away from Ivanovic and then it goes through United throw in. Yeah, a little bit sloppy towards the end there Mata, again you know this is this is possibly where Fernando Torres you know struggles slightly, you know when he was at Liverpool it was very much of a, a counter-attacking style that Liverpool played, they would soak up an awful lot of pressure and the likes of, of Steven Gerrard and Jabby Alonso would get the ball and they'd fire it through for him on the on the breakaway. It doesn't happen now at Chelsea. Here's United rampaging forward. Valencia approaching the Chelsea penalty here. Beating Basingo on the inside. Almost at run into Morelles. And then a loose pass. Luis should clear. Not cleared properly though by Chelsea. Ashley Young back to Carrick. Good ball by Carrick to Giggs. Left of the penalty area. Played in low towards Welbeck. And there was a good interception by, I think it was Cahill, but United have it back. Ashley Young shoots, takes a deflection, loops it in the air, and then is caught by Petr Cech. Yeah, I think sometimes Chelsea guilty a little bit of maybe trying to overplay uh, at the back. Sometimes as a defender, yes, you know, there, there are times to get the ball down and play. Sometimes you have to put your foot through the ball, clear it up the other end of the pitch, you know, squeeze out and, and get, some, get some distance away from your goal. Wasn't that dreadful from Basingua? First of all, his attempted pass forward, and then as the ball came back to him off a United player, he hooked it out of play for a throw-in. Well, Chelsea, surprisingly for me, have, have given the ball away an, an awful lot so far uh, in, in the first 15, 20 minutes of this game, and also given it away you know, without being under too much pressure. Uh, a try for Ireland, I gather. Andy Gillies. Yes, uh, it's a try for Wales, actually. Wales 15, Ireland 13. Brilliant try by Jonathan Davis. Great work from George North, who fed the ball to Davis, who put on the uh, burners and crashed over the line. Conversion by Lee Halfpenny, and Wales have the lead, 15 points to 13. I can assure you that was no bias on my part. I thought I was told that it was a try for Ireland. Anyway. Uh, here we can do with a goal. Chelsea nil, Manchester United nil. 17 minutes played at Stamford Bridge here on five line. David Luiz, uh, 30 yards over the halfway line. Plays it infield to Michael Estrin. Still too slow from Chelsea. Now Mata. Mata shoots it in too high for Torres. It's an easy catch from De Gea. Yeah, Mata hasn't started the game. No. Uh, in fantastic form. Given it away four or five occasions already. You know, set pieces have been weak. Uh, and also... 
you know, even then, his cross, you know, just wasn't whipped in with any conviction or real pace. Here's Mata leaving the ball for Torres. Torres pulled down by Ashley Young. Uh, don't know what Young's got to complain about. He was pulling him, and it was right in front of the referee. So it's a free kick, and rightly so to Chelsea. Um, and United bring everybody back, facing everybody's behind the ball. And Morales, look at the position of Rooney. Rooney's back in his own penalty area, and the free kicks. Well, I think over Chelsea, Chelsea pose goal. a considerable threat from set pieces, obviously with, with Cahill, even Louise up there. Of course, and he, you know Torres is, is decent in the air as well. So, you know, it's United have got to concentrate on set pieces. Morales to take the free kick for Chelsea, and Maluda well, standing in front of two United players, trying to obstruct them. Morales flexing out, it's poor from Morales. Uh, didn't have enough distance. It was headed away easily by Rafael, but only to Morales again. And now into Essien, a yard ahead of the centre circle. Essien forward to Sturridge. Sturridge, uh, the ball. Uh, played in the direction of Maluda, but uh, short of Maluda, and it's headed clear by Manchester United. And here's Valencia. Look at the work that Torres made to get back, make the challenge, an unfair challenge according to Hardwell. Free kick he gives. I tell you what, <laughs> Fernando Torres cannot do right for doing wrong at the moment, can he? Chases back 50 yards or so, and again, Howard Webb just calls that one right. It just catches the, the ankle, didn't he? The, yes. the back of Valencia's standing foot, effectively. There, there was no intent in it, uh, but it, but it was a foul. But again, Torres working back, you know, trying to do his bit for the team, and unfortunately for him, still manages to get that wrong. I think his overall play is good, and his assists are are good for Chelsea. Just got a score, of course, and we're now over 18 hours since Fernando Torres' last goal for Chelsea. The ball is back by the acting captain today. Check check clearance was weak but Carrick's header wasn't great for the champions. Uh, picked up by Morales. Morales to Sturridge on the far side, the Chelsea right. That is even further one, but the pass goes back to Cahill, and you can feel the anxiety around Stamford Bridge. The groans is some of the, the way uh, Chelsea are passing the ball. It's not incisive yet. I think it's when they're going forward. They're getting into that final third, and they're not, don't look too much like... Matter to Torres. Torres shoots well wide of goal. Uh, that's better from Torres though, you know, he's prepared to have a go, you know, he knows he's not on fantastic form, but he gets, he gets the ball, it's a decent little turn from him, you know, two or three yards out of his feet, looks up, hits it, slices across at the outside of his foot, but just going back to that Chelsea in the final third, they don't look incisive, no real cut and edge, and almost a, a little bit devoid of, of ideas around the edge of the box. It also has to be said, looking at the uh, respective benches today, Manchester United is much stronger. Yeah, incredible. Uh, you know, Manchester United very, very strong on the bench. You know, leaving that sort of experience um, of skulls of like that to come on. Chelsea's bench, really, if, if they do go down in this game, who can they bring on to, to change it? You know, even the likes of Lukaku, who have been really, really poor so far. There's a penalty in Ireland, Andy Gillies? Yes, it went to Ireland as well. Jonathan Sexton kicked it, so Ireland have the lead back in this terrific match of rugby. Ireland 16, Wales 15. Here in the Barclays Premier League, it's still Chelsea nil, Manchester United nil. Chelsea yet to catch five. The pass is in the direction of Ivanovic on the far side of the field. Ferdinand gets there first. The Chelsea fans persist in booing. Well, again, a, but it was a sloppy pass, Alan, from you know, Daniel Sturridge. Did well, cut inside on his left foot. Acres of space to roll that ball for Ivanovic you know, and hit it far too close to Rio Ferdinand. Chelsea have just got to be take care, be a bit more precise with their passing. After a Chelsea throw in, Ivanovic plays the ball back to David Luiz. And for once, uh, Manchester United pretty much in the defensive here. Luiz approaching the United penalty area. Uh, plays it to Maluda. Maluda tackled by Rafael, then lost it to Welbeck. But uh, Welbeck tackled successfully by Morales. And is forward with Luiz again. Luiz uh, back to Basingua. Basingua. <laughs> Luiz being told by Villas Boas to get back into a defensive position. Chelsea still have the ball though, Maluda to Basingua, back to Maluda, and now Morales, too slow from Chelsea, not incisive enough, not inventive enough, but here's Basingua, with room to get across in, de delay, finally ran the ball into Rafael, then pulled the young uh, fullback down, it's a free kick to Manchester United, who have not been unduly troubled so far, even though it's still nil-nil, and here's Mike Ingham. And if you've recently joined us, Sir Alex Ferguson, purple with rage, uh, thought that they should have had a penalty. Cahill on Welbeck, and of course last season here, 
I remember he had some choice words to say afterwards about Martin Atkinson, the referee, who hasn't refereed Manchester United since, by the way. So 0-0 here on 5 Live, and Manchester United have been the better side. Rooney off the chest, finds Valencia near side. This is the United right. And now Welbeck, it's very tight at the moment. They're surrounded by blue, and Moreles just hoofs it back towards the halfway line. Evans heads it back into Chelsea territory. Oh, Malouda's playing. Hardly mentioned him in the commentary. And he's going to lose this one, and he's won a free kick. Howard Webb gives it. But, you know, we were talking, Danny, about... Well, I said to you before the game that Chelsea just don't have a presence anymore about them. But interestingly, Ashley Cole, Lampard, Terry and Drogba all missing for the first time in a league game for four years today. But that's a spine of the side gone, isn't it? Oh, definitely. And, but maybe that's a, a sign of things to come. Chelsea at the moment just remind me of Manchester City in the early days of Roberto Mancini. You know, there's some great players out there, um, but there are too many individuals. Luis floats one forward, and Gary Cahill had made the run forward, not spotted by Manchester United. And now Johnny Evans has to get in ahead of Sturridge. Just a few moments at the back there, which troubled Manchester United, but now Evra on the break. Rooney's made a charge down the centre. Evra holds, and now he's going to lose the ball to Essien. And now Sturridge has another opportunity. Gives it early this time to Mata. Back comes the United defender, Evra, to concede a free kick. So here's a chance. Gary Cahill likes to go forward, as we know. He does score goals quite regularly for a defender. Luis, who scored against Manchester United in that league game here last season, is also going to go forward. So free kick to Chelsea. They've been very much second best in the opening period here. But, of course, they will... And this would have figured a lot in the team talks before the game. They'll know that De Gea in the Manchester United goal can be vulnerable from these set pieces. They will try and put pressure on him here. And I think, Mike, that's why United are trying to keep a very, very high line, keep people away from De Gea, almost on the edge of the box at the moment. Ivanovic is also on the edge of the penalty area. Free kick is taken by Mata. De Gea flapped at it, but managed to get it out of the penalty area. Valencia on the edge of the area now. Try to clear it, but it's been blocked by Basingua. And Evans was close to using his hand to control that on the edge of the area. Actually, he did very well under the circumstances, Evans. It was an awkward ball to control, but now it may break for Manchester United. It's Rooney on the charge. Rooney now looking to try and release Young over on the far side. Uh, the flag's gone up for offside, but um, Howard Webb is going to stop the play because Chelsea had lost the ball. I think Welbeck just thought he was blocked there, Danny. He's gone to Howard Webb to protest. Yeah, I don't know whether you saw anything there. I, th I think it was just off the ball again. You, you can almost say, I'm going to stick up the defenders. You know, he, he's just blocked the run. Um, yeah, and, and that happens. But again, just going back to De Gea, I don't understand why he doesn't catch that ball. It's at chest height, he comes out and he's trying to punch it. If you're punching a ball at chest height, you know, you, you can't get it any higher. You, can't, you know, when you're defending, you talk about height and distance. You know, they're, they're your, your key things. If you're punching a ball at chest height, you've got to punch it flat and you punch it back into dangerous areas. It's Danny Mills with us here at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea nil, Manchester United nil on five live. 26 minutes gone. Here's Dave Woods again at Wigan. 67 minutes gone here. It's Wigan 12, Huddersfield 20. Curiouser and curiouser. Lan Patrick with his second try of the game. The big man up front. 30 yards out. Showed some stunning pace to finish. Brock converted. Wigan 12, Huddersfield 20. Thank you, Dave. It's not actually a very fluent game, this, at the moment, is it? No, I think Howard Webb is being maybe a little bit finicky as well. Uh, every sort of decision he could possibly give, uh, he is giving at the moment, which means getting lots of needless really pointless free kicks uh, and, you know, it's, a, it's not a bad game there's not been any bad tackles uh, but there must have been you know 20, nearly, nearly 20 free kicks or so Raphael's free kick travelled an awful long way Rooney tries to head it on towards Young Ivanovic has to be careful I thought Young looked really sharp early on but he hasn't had too much of the ball in the last 5 or 10 minutes check tidies up so Manchester United of course under pressure with City winning yesterday uh, Chelsea give the ball away, that was very loose it's Ryan Giggs now for Manchester United looking to release Young, Ivanovic was out of position Young can't get it in though from the angle and it goes behind for Chelsea's goal kick just to remind you, Alan talking about the pressure on Chelsea in fourth place, Newcastle are now level on points with Chelsea uh, that's before Chelsea played obviously having beaten Aston Villa by two goals to one today with Cissé getting the winning goal for them in the second half Rangers lost by the way in the Scottish Cup today as well Rangers um, beaten at home by two goals to nil by Dundee United. You know, and just on that, Mike, you know, perhaps Newcastle could come up on, on the blind side. You know, surprise one or two people. Obviously, they have got Denver Bar uh, and Papa Cissé back, obviously scoring on his debut. They've got a decent strike force. They're going to score goals. They've got a settled defence. You know, Newcastle 
could be you know, a, a team to shock one or two this season. They did lose Ryan Taylor with what looked like quite a serious injury in the first half in, in the game. We were able to watch the first half here. Now, Rio Ferdinand, who's getting booed, and he's getting booed because he's Anton Ferdinand's brother. Let's not mess about here. So that's quite an indictment, really, of the Chelsea fans who are booing him. Uh, they've made their point early on. And now Lewis clears long down the centre of the United defence. Evans, who started the game quite well, and then Ferdinand slices his clearance. It hasn't gone very far at all. Rafael brings it down, though, and Rafael now finds Valencia. Valencia must have fancied it today against Basuga. Great ball from Valencia. Rooney stretches and takes it. Well back to the penalty area. Rooney tries to find him. Fantastic defending from Ivanovic. That's probably the best move of the game so far. Ivanovic to the rescue. Manchester United corner. I tell you what, fantastic breakaway from Manchester United. You know, Valencia, Rooney easily onside, going through. Just holds the ball up, waits almost inch perfect but Ivanovic he's done that three or four times now at the far post uh, where he's used his experience and strength uh, to see out Ashley Young that was Manchester United at their best it's corner kick to them over on the left hand side Young takes it header away by Maluda uh, United try and knock it back in again now Chelsea will try and counter attack Sturridge down the right hand side not a lot of support for him matters the player furthest ahead but he can't go past uh, Ryan Giggs and Manchester United tidy up and it's in central midfield for them now and they find Valencia. Valencia's got a bit of room to move here. Rooney's on the outside. Valencia finds Rooney. Welbeck and Young in the area. Rooney dinks the ball in it, deflects off Basingua, and then Luis completes the clearance in the Chelsea penalty area, and Maluda squirts it down the line. Matters there, but he's blocked by Rafael, and it's out of play. Let's go back to Andy Gillis in Dublin. Six or seven minutes gone, it's still Ireland 16, Wales 15, but Wales are down to 14 men. Bradley Davis has got a yellow card, he's in the sin bin for a tackle on Donica Ryan, and many people thought she's going to receive a red card. So Wales down to 14, and the Irish are pressing to try to extend their advantage. They're pressing the Welsh line at the moment. 16-15 to Ireland. Half an hour gone at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea nil, Manchester United nil. And the ball is with Manchester United's goalkeeper, De Gea, who's going to get a bit of a run now because Lindegaard's out for, we think, five or six weeks. Cahill beaten in the air by Rooney, but the ball travels on to check in the Chelsea goal. I mean, neither goalkeeper's been really extended yet, Danny, have they, in the opening half an hour? Not no, really. neither a proper, what you say, a proper save uh, to make. Uh, again, United have had the, the better half chances, uh, if you like, so far. There's been a couple of flaps from De Gea, and yeah, Johnny Evans has just fallen awkwardly, and... Uh, it's a yellow card for Fernando Torres. Now, I didn't see that at all. We were talking. I don't know whether Torres, we're going to get a, a replay of it. Evans was chasing the ball back, looking for De Gea to come out. Well, then Torres... Well, you're the summariser. You, you interpret that for me. Well, what basically, <laughs> what Johnny Evans is, the, the ball's going back to De Gea. You know, De Gea's coming out from goal. Johnny Evans running at full pelt back to his goalkeeper. And it basically, he stopped in his tracks almost immediately to try and protect his goalkeeper. And really, Fernando Torres has got nowhere to go. Of course, he, he puts his arms up. If not, you know, he basically runs into the back and, and he clashes heads with Johnny Evans. For me, there's not an awful lot uh, that Fernando Torres can do about that. Johnny Evans has, has stopped in his tracks dead with the intention of blocking Fernando Torres, you know, and has come off slightly worse for it. I think, again, Howard Webb needs to look at that situation and, and understand it a little bit better. Harsh. Fourth official, by the way, today, Phil Dowd. Is getting quite a lot of Sir Alex Ferguson in his ear down there, I notice. Um, into the last 15 minutes of the first half, nil-nil, Evans will be OK. Torres on a yellow card, and, and I, I got a feeling with Torres that his last league goal was against Swansea here in September, and if you remember, he was sent off in that game. Then he missed a month, effectively, of Premier League football, which didn't help him. He could have got onto a roll, having scored against Swansea. Now it's matter at Chelsea, but of course he scored against Manchester United earned the season, and then that horrible miss as well at Old Trafford. Maluda, they need more from him, Chelsea. And Morelles too, square ball to Essien. Essien tries to drive forward, he's 30 yards out, he's interested maybe in a shot, is he? Now he's going to play short pass, and now Maluda drags it back again, and Chelsea, it's very predictable and very slow, as Alan was saying earlier. Basingua now, on to Essien, they do miss Lampard's drive in midfield. Essien now on to Mata. Mata to the right-hand side. Morelles takes too long, though. Over to Ivanovic down the right-hand side. Can't get the crossing. It hits Ever in the face. And he's gone down as a result of that. Rooney's been fouled, so Ever will be treated. The game will stop for the foul on Rooney. And that went straight into Ever's face, point blank. And that will be sore. 
Yeah, that will that will sting somewhat. Um, but it's one of those, you know. You take, you have to take them. You know, it, it took him a while uh, to go down. You know, he kept his hands well out of the way, straight in the side of the face. But you know, he's up and up about now. But again, you were right, Chelsea a little bit too slow in the build-up. They've come back into it slightly in terms of possession. But when they get into that final third, they, they just look a little bit lost. Here's Andy Gillis again in Dublin. I said the Irish are camped on the Welsh line. Well, they've managed to score a try. Terrific effort from Tommy Bow in the corner. It wasn't converted by Jonathan Sexton, but Ireland have the lead. Clear lead. Ireland 21, Wales 15. Thank you here at Stamford Bridge. 33 minutes gone in the first half of a disappointing first half so far. Rio Ferdinand. On to Everett, who's recovered from the, the blow in the face he got a few moments ago. Young. Can't go forward. Keeps possession and then hits it high down the line. I'm not sure Welbeck will get that up against Ivanovic, who oh, he almost did get it Welbeck. Ivanovic is having a good game at the back for Chelsea. And now Cahill on his debut clears off Rooney and Chelsea will have a throw. Yeah, I think Ivanovic has done fantastically well so far. He's been tested on probably four or five occasions uh, at the far post where Young has tried to get in behind him. Of course, Ivanovic has nowhere near the pace uh, of Ashley Young, but he's using all his experience to get his body in the right positions early on uh, and use his strength to, to keep Ashley Young at bay. Howard Webb stops the game again. Now, this has been part of the problem really in the first half. There's been too much stop-start. Manchester United haven't won a league game here, by the way, for 10 seasons. 2002 when they won 3-0 here. And their last eight visits in the league, they've only scored three goals. It's not been a happy hunting ground for them. No, it hasn't. And Alex Ferguson, you know, intimated that in his uh, pre-match press conference, I think, yesterday. Uh, but again, Howard, just going back to Howard Webb, I think, you know, he, he seems a little bit scared that this game could get out of hand. So he's given every free kick uh, and stopping, trying to stop things before they happen. But because of that, he's, he's spoiling it somewhat. Raphael tidying up in the right-back area. No Smalling involved at all today. Was injured in training and now it's Mata. Matter running square at the moment for Chelsea and he plays the ball back and there's a few groans around us as they go back almost to the halfway line. Maluda wants more. Maluda jinx in field and now it's Michael Essien. Essien hit it with pace and Matter didn't lay it off properly. But Essien will have another go, but United have got just about everybody back behind the ball. Goes into Matter. Good control on the edge of the area. Matter tried a little reverse ball to Ivanovic. Chelsea may still get this one in. Sturridge is threatening. Sturridge to try and drag the ball back. He's got it! He's got it off the defender! Johnny Evans I think it was Johnny over. Evans at the post and Chelsea second best in most of this game so far but it was Sturridge who got the ball in from the angle and Johnny Evans shakes his head because it was his touch which put the ball past his own goalkeeper and after 35 minutes of the match here Chelsea go in front through an Evans own goal well for me it was two moments of magic Matter got the ball probably just inside the corner of the 18 yard box he did a fantastic little turn, looked like he was going to shake to shoot uh, and bend it in the far corner, but a great little reverse pass uh, to Daniel Sturridge, who then, well, was magnificent uh, to dance past Evra. And then again, lay, as he laid the ball back, De Gea goes again with his feet. He could have cut it out, couldn't he? I think we saw that out in, uh, was it in Basel? You know, where he did something similar, where he went to save a, a cross with his feet. And then, of course, it really hit Johnny Evans, had nowhere else to go, and, and unfortunately for Johnny Evans, De Gea, you know, part to blame. But well, really, it was... That, that oh, Paul clears from check to Rooney, and Rooney now tries to find Valencia, but Basing was there. I mean, it was a lightweight intervention by De Gea. United, over the years, their very best goalkeepers, going back to Harry Gregg and then Schmeichel and Van der Sar, have been powerful presences. Now Ferdinand's having a problem, and Sturry shoots! De Gea keeps it out. His shot-stopping is OK but he's indecisive in the air. In comes the cross now from the Chelsea right-hand side, and it's cushioned back by Ferdinand to De Gea. So 1-0 to Chelsea, Evans with an own goal. What the Sir Alex think now about the Cahill foul on Welbeck in the penalty area as Luis tidies up? I mean, that is going to be a huge talking point. All right, massive. To Chelsea win the game. I, I still think it's a penalty. It was Cahill's second action to bring Welbeck down. But it was just a, a moment, a, a little bit of genius from Mata. Just threw a little bit of a body shape, a dummy, a beautiful reverse pass when everyone thought he was going to shoot. And then Sturridge, a little bit of a step over, you know, really went past Evra too easy. And then again, De Gea, half culpable. I don't know, it, it's very, very close to him. I think he could do better, but it was so it's close, not much more he could have done. United now camped inside the Chelsea half. Ashley Young's ball in is headed away by Luis. It's certainly woken everybody up here. 
Much more noise around Stamford Bridge now as Chelsea go into the lead. And the ball is down the United left once more and ever against the outstanding Ivanovic. His ball in is easily taken by Morelis. And Chelsea now look to clear. So eight minutes left in the first half. 1-0 to Chelsea. Evans' own goal. Great work from Mata and Sturridge. And Chelsea give the ball away. And Evans now gives it quickly to Valencia. They might want a little bit more from him now, Manchester United. Rooney down the right-hand side. Infield to Giggs. Giggs linking the play. And Giggs now across the field finds Ashley Young. In comes Ivanovic. On the edge of the penalty area, it's Ashley Young. Ashley Young's cross shot. Check with one hand. Just about got it away. And now Basingwa will clear for Chelsea. And it's knocked out by Maluda. It's a good response, though, from Manchester United. Yeah, really good save from, from Petr Cech. You know, came in stretching to his left-hand side. You know, really had to get a really strong, big hand on it to push it away from the incoming Rooney. Did that. And I think, you know, fantastic save. That's why he's a, a great keeper still. Chelsea won, Manchester United nil. My prediction, and only prediction, is that when the half-time whistle goes, the Manchester United manager may make movements towards the match referee. Anyway, let's wait and see. Ashley Hung uh, finds Evans inside the centre circle. Evans with his left foot, looking at a very ambitious ball by Evans towards Young. And Ivanovic in top form so far today, knocks it away with distance to the far side of the field. Sort of misty afternoon after the snow, a little milder maybe by degrees, but only by degrees. And it's an intriguing game now with Manchester City watching on. As Chelsea go into a 1-0 lead against Manchester United, it's Ryan Giggs now for United, it's too near the goalkeeper. And of course Manchester United have a great away record, despite their indifferent form, they've really done well away from home this season. They've won eight, drawn two and only lost at Newcastle. And they're losing here to Chelsea. As Raphael misjudges his header, but it'll drop to Ferdinand. And back it goes to the man we've been talking about a lot so far, Danny, David Gea. Yeah, you know, just going back to the, the, the goal that conceded, you know, it was at the near post, you know, trying to stop, obviously, Sturridge scoring at the near post. And then when Sturridge pulled it back, you know, he went with his foot and, and just got a toe on it. It's one of those where he could do better. Uh, and you would say if, if he did, you know, it would have been fantastic. It's, hard, it's, it's harsh to say he should have done better, uh, but I think he could have done better if that makes any sort of sense. Well, it was also interestingly in the build-up to the goal, a little flash from Mata, probably the most skillful player. Oh, it's now a lovely ball from Welbeck to Rooney, back again to Welbeck, or try to return it to Rooney. Welbeck again, Czech turns it away for a corner. And then from the angle, Sturridge did really well. But well, it's a corner to Manchester United. United almost guilty of no one wanting to take on the shot. Almost too many one-twos from Rooney and Welbeck, and then another good save from Petr Cech. Valencia short corner, drag back to Rafael. Early ball in, which Rooney will jump for. Cech did well, it's out of the penalty area. SCN gives chase, Young's across there as well. And the ball is out of play for a Chelsea throw-in. And the goal has put real vigour into Chelsea now and they're, they're playing with a lot more spirit well it's given them something to defend I think you know check two or three decent saves probably all of which you'd expect him to save uh, but he's had to make them you know Chelsea look a, a little bit brighter you know although again for the neutral you know that's probably the best result that everyone could have hoped for the snow on the roof is thawing in front of us we can see a stream of water cascading down from the stand in front of us here as the temperature rises a little and the temperature rises certainly here inside Stamford Bridge and back to Dublin and Andy Gillis. 21-20 to Ireland is the score. Wales scoring a try through George North in the corner, but Lee Halfpenny missed the conversion from the touchline. Three minutes to play, one point the difference. Ireland 21, Wales 20. 1-0 to Chelsea, back to Dave Woods, full-time I think at Wigan. Full-time it is, Wigan 16, Huddersfield 20, an eye-catching result in the first round of the new Super League season. Lam Patrick, two tries in the second half, proving crucial. Wigan not good enough on the day, Wigan 16, Huddersfield 20. Thank you, Ashley Young for Manchester United, lots of red shirts around him. Evra comes into the movement, they're losing here 1-0. Ryan Giggs, it's tight for United on the edge of the area, lots of blue shirts. Now Ashley Young's ball in, which Luis should head away. And he gets it out of the penalty area, Valencia will keep it in, Rooney still waits. Valencia holds. Valencia shuffles towards the penalty area. Still Valencia being held up by Basingua. Now Carrick's flat ball into Evra. Evra onto Ashley Young. Big build up here from Manchester United. Ashley Young's ball to the far post. Valencia will have to stretch. Doesn't bring it down first time. Valencia having to be patient here. Still holds by the touchline. Knocks it back a long way to Johnny Evans. His own goal divides the sides. Carrick onto Evra. And now Giggs looking to release Welbeck. Lewis does well defensively with a header. And Maluda skies the ball back into the United half. 
where Ferdinand brings it down and then goes past Matter. He's inside the Chelsea half, and the ball to the far side will not reach Ashley Young. And just at times, you know, I, I don't know, the crowd just seem to be getting to Rio Ferdinand a little bit. He's made a few mistakes, and now it's Maluda for Chelsea. Torres wide on this near side. Fernando Torres on a yellow card in the game. Tackled by Carrick, but the ball comes back into Wessian in midfield. Last five minutes of the first half. Maluda again. Rafael comes across. Valencia covers and helps. Chelsea give it away. Carrick tidies up. And now Valencia knocks it 30 yards into Danny Welbeck. Luis header was not a good one and Rooney's going to take him on for pace here but he can't go past either Luis or Pasingua Rooney though with great determination chases back towards the corner flag Chelsea should have cleared that Rooney though doesn't get it in and Chelsea now look to Morales with a little trick down there to go back inside United's half good touch from Fernando Torres Torres good ball to the far side of the field and Sturridge 1-0 to Chelsea United now having to defend here just before half time Sturridge overdoes it and Man United have the bodies back, and Everett escapes, fed by Giggs. Welbeck downfield. Patrice Everett running a long way with the ball, and then fouled, was he? No, referee says, I'm happy with... No, the whistle's gone very... Le Goodness me. That yeah, was the, and it was such a delay. I mean, I was going to say, Mike, you wonder why players get frustrated. You know, that, that... I don't get that. You know, Howard Webb waits four or five seconds. It's a fantastic tackle. We've just seen it on the replay. It gets the ball... He allows the play to go three or four seconds because Chelsea have it, and then he blows up. There was never, ever going to be an advantage. No. And you wonder why players get annoyed and get frustrated with referees. Well, a delayed afterthought there from Howard Webb, and with 40 seconds of normal time to go in the first half, is this going to be a late way back for Manchester United? They're trailing 1-0 here. Johnny Evans with an own goal, and Giggs just takes the free kick and knocks it square for Carrick. And now Rafael, United will have to be quick here. Rafael onto Valencia, three red shirts waiting. Valencia faced by Basingua. Uh, good ball onto Carrick, who doesn't control it. And Morelis is getting through quite a lot of hard work. Clears to this near side for a Manchester United throw in. Ten seconds of normal time to go. Fourth official steps out. And then Rafael completely fluffs his throw in. He's lucky to find Evans in the end. And now Giggs moving well. Two minutes of added time at the end of the first half. Giggs is going to lose this, I think. Oh, no, he hasn't. Chelsea giving it back to Rafael. And Rafael goes down. United appeal half-heartedly for a free kick. Ryan Giggs doesn't control it. Mata tries to go clear now for Chelsea. Carrick got half a challenge in. And Ferdinand completes the clearance. And now Young onto Rooney. And Ivanovic, fully committed, went in on Ashley Young over on the far side. Howard Webb was quickly across and already has the yellow card out. Yeah, United players getting a little bit overexcited. It's nothing more than a booking. Uh, yeah, it is a foul. You know, he's body checked him effectively, you know. And I think why why that's happened, Ivanovic has been trying to close down Ashley Young very, very quickly so he can't get a run There's on a him. Penalty he's in Dublin, Andy Gillis. It's the end of the match in Dublin of Wales have won it with a penalty in the final minute. Kicked over the post by Lee Halfpenny, a penalty from in front of the post. Controversially, Stephen Ferris, the Irish flanker, a judge to have committed a foul tackle and sent from the field at the same time. But Lee Halfpenny's final minute penalty has won the game for Wales. Ireland 21, Wales 23. Thank you, Andy. Uh, Alex Ferguson's almost on the pitch. And now he's just retreating. We've got another free kick, though, to his side. We're playing added time here. We've got about 30 seconds of added time. And this Manchester United free kick's around about 25 yards away from Czech's goal. I mean, on the balance of play, Chelsea is slightly fortunate for me to be in front here, but they are in front through the Evans zone goal. Can Manchester United get back on terms here, right now from this free kick? Sir Alex sits down, it's Vias Boas' turn just to do a little bit of work on the sideline. Ryan Giggs is left alone now with this free kick. Free kick to Manchester United, Giggs to take it. Eventually he does, he sends it into Rooney. Shot was deflected and Cech seeing it late turns it away for a corner. There should just be time for it. Yeah, another good save from Pedicek, diving low to his right, the free kick. Rolled to Rooney who hit it well, decent strike, possibly, well, Cech couldn't take the chance with it going wide or hitting the post and another good save. Last action of the first half, 1-0 to Chelsea. For a corner kick to the United over on the far side was taken short. And maybe they should have taken it long. The time is against them. Ashley Young now trying to get a cross in. In it goes 
from Ashley Young. Challenging there was Welbeck. It's still in play if Young can reach it. Howard Webb sends the players to the tunnel for half time. We're on Fergie watch here. This could be interesting. Anyway, Manchester United denied a penalty here by Howard Webb. Looked like a clear foul by Cahill on Welbeck. And Manchester United had most of the, the play in the first half. And then Johnny Evans' his own goal after Matter started it and Sturridge squared it from the angle. Evans couldn't get out of the way. We felt De Gea should have done better with his clearance. So the half-time score here. Chelsea won Manchester United nil. A quick final thought from Danny. Well, I think Manchester United started the bright of the two teams. Instantly, between uh, once Chelsea have scored, I've been quite surprised. Their defence looks quite organised. Uh, they look quite solid. Uh, Cahill is certainly very, very vocal and marshalling them. Uh, but I think, again, certainly a penalty uh, for me. Again, United could have done better uh, defensively. But also, I think Howard Webb not having the greatest of games so far. Thanks a lot, Danny. We're talking here, of course, about the referee who did referee the last World Cup final. He is deemed to be the number one. And at half-time here, he's been very much at the heart of it here. Half-time score is 1-0 to Chelsea. Thanks very much indeed, Mike. Just before you go, Danny, is it me or is this game quite slow-paced? And if so, why? Uh, well, I think there's a, a lot of respect uh, from both teams. Um, you know, here it, it doesn't seem too bad. It, it, for, you know, one thing Chelsea scored, it seemed pretty much end-to-end. -end. United have really resorted to, to long shots. Uh, and Petr Cech has had some decent saves to make, but from distance. Uh, United really haven't been able to get behind the fullbacks. I think Ivanovic has been fantastic uh, up against Ashley Young, but now he's on a booking. He's going to have to be very, very careful, and, and that'll be an intriguing battle in the second half. So Manchester United have scored, but Chelsea lead with Johnny Evans, an own goal, the only goal in that first half. Uh, earlier today, of course, Newcastle beat Aston Villa by two goals to one. Denver Bar scoring inevitably, but on his debut, Papi Cisse, another Senegal international, scoring the winner. Robbie Keane got one back for Aston Villa. Uh, a full roundup of all the results including that amazing game in the Six Nations Championship at the Aviva Stadium with Wales winning with the last kick of the game against Ireland. It's 10 to 5, 5 Live Sport with Ian Payne on a, sat a sat Saturday, Sunday afternoon. There's so much sport, it might as well be. And here's the 5 Live News with Suzanne Chislett. Online at bbc.co.uk slash 5 Live. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. Heavy snow continues to cause severe disruption to road and air travel across Britain. Heathrow says airlines there expect to operate only half of the 1,300 scheduled flights today. Other airports are warning of delays. A police officer from County Armagh is in a stable condition in hospital after being stabbed while responding to an emergency call in Lurgan. A 41-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. There's been severe condemnation of the decision by Russia and China to veto the United Nations resolution criticising the Syrian government. The Foreign Secretary, William Haig, said the two countries were making a great mistake. The government is launching a new campaign warning people in England that drinking even just a little more than the recommended alcohol limit can seriously damage their long-term health. Television adverts will run from tonight. And the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh have been attending church on the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk. Tomorrow it marks the Queen's Diamond Jubilee when her reign reaches the milestone of 60 years. Some better news on the roads finally now. The M1 northbounds reopened between Junction 14 for Milton Keynes and 15 for Northampton. That following that accident this morning that closed it for around four, four and a half hours. Cameras suggest the tailback, which was about five miles, has also cleared. Elsewhere in East Yorkshire, the westbound M62, that's closed between North Cave and Howden, junctions 38 to 37 following an accident. The M23 heading south near Crawley, that's also shut for recovery work following an accident there. Traffic queuing, it's adding around 30 minutes to journey time. And if you're due to fly today or tomorrow, the advice is to check with your airline as there have been cancellations today, including around half the flights at Heathrow. Many planes and crews won't be where they should be at the start of tomorrow. Suzanne Chislett, 5 Live Travel. It's one of the most powerful nations on the planet. Its economy is worth trillions of dollars. It has a formidable nuclear arsenal at its disposal. And this year, its people will have to decide between voting for the man who swept to power, promising hope and prosperity for all, and those calling for the biggest political change in a generation. This year, Russia holds presidential elections, and next week, Five Live Drive will be there to find out why it matters to you. I'll be on the streets with protesters calling for Vladimir Putin to go. Plus, we'll hear from the billionaire standing against him and meet the controversial TV host whose father was Putin's mentor. Five Live Drive. With Peter Allen and Asma Mir. Live from Moscow. Monday and Tuesday next week from 4 on Five Live.
This is Five Life Sport with Ian Payne. And that uh, kaleidoscopic effect at the top of the Barclays Premier League has changed colour and shape again with Chelsea leading Manchester United by a goal to nil at half-time. Johnny Evans putting it through his own net. Newcastle, meanwhile, have been playing today and in the day's early match, they ran out 2-1 winners against Aston Villa at St James's Park. Senegal International, Demba Ba notched the first on his return from Africa's Cup of Nations. Then his countryman, Papis Demba Sisse, hit a spectacular winner on his debut. Well, after the game, Newcastle's manager, Alan Pardew, spoke to Guy Mowbray. You'd probably admit that for a lot of that game you weren't at your best, but it's yet another win. Well, I mean, we were missing some big players today, especially in midfield, and we were a little bit loose in the first half, and I thought at half-time, although they've scored a minute before the break, um, they deserved that. In fact, they probably deserved to be in the lead, so, you know, we sort of accepted that half-time and said, you know, we can't be so open and um, we closed the game up second half I thought we limited them on the break and we slowly started to build pressure um, and we had one or two chances and then the goal which was uh, something special and uh, that's why you pay a lot of money for that sort of quality and all day today he looked a very very good player you put him on probably sooner than you'd have wanted to because of the injury to Leon Burst well, it's unfortunate for Leon because he's done great for us this year. So I was hoping that, you know, Liam for 60, 75 minutes or whatever would, would do the job and get us in the lead and then bring Papas on and lift the place and, and give us a boost before the end of the, the game. But obviously he come on a lot earlier than that. Uh, but the boost was, was there throughout, really. He, he lifted everybody and um, a great result for us. Fantastic. Well, you know, the headlines will be about your two Senegalese strikers. Let's deal with the new boy first. I mean, what a debut goal. Mm. Well, what a performance, really, because his first touch was a turn and, you know, he, his work rate and everything else that is going to fit into this group. We've taken a long time to find one. Um, but to get a start like that, I mean, it was a hit. I was right behind it, and as soon as he's, he hit it, I knew it was in. It was a fantastic strike of his left foot. I was just going to ask you, it's the first time a lot of people in this country will have seen him in action. What, what will he bring to you? What, what difference can he make to Newcastle? Um, well, he gives you uh, the last line of fire. And, you know, when you've got a cutting edge like that, um, you can win games that perhaps you don't dominate. Papi Cisse scoring on his debut for Newcastle. Another three points for them to keep them in the Champions League hunt anyway. Uh, wasn't quite the same emotion, though, for the Villa manager Alex McLeish because he spoke to Guy Mowbray afterwards and he spoke of his anger at Cisse's winner. The winning goal came about after well, what was adjudged to be an Emil Heskey push in the other half of the field. I think, did you have an issue with that at the time? It was, it was, a, it was a poor decision. It was never a free kick. And saying that, they go right up the pitch and score. That shouldn't happen either, of course. But Emil's made a fair jump and he's, he's out jump, flicked it on. No push at all. It's not like Matt Halsey because he lets play flow. Um, and if that was a, a push, it must be one of the softest free kicks he's ever gave. Uh, and, and, but in saying that, Gutierrez runs up the line, gets his cross in. We should be trying to cut out the cross. We don't make any any contact and then we don't deal with it in the middle. Marvellous finish. One touch and screamer top corner. I'm sure he could try that another ten times and he'd, he'd, he'd hit it into the stand. But just our luck, you know, that we give another debut boy his, his first goal. Uh, yes, it's Newcastle beating Aston Villa by two goals to one. The second Cissé to score against Aston Villa on his debut within a week. Chelsea 1-0 up against Manchester United at half-time in our commentary game at Stamford Bridge. Uh, the goals coming from Evans, an own goal. Derby against Nottingham Forest was called off. In the Scottish Cup, though, they had much better weather, but not for Rangers, metaphorically speaking, because they lost 2-0 at home to Dundee United uh, in front of a crowd of just 17,000. 822 so yet more problems for Rangers out of the Scottish Cup after that 2-0 defeat to Peter Houston's Dundee United I thought the first half performance especially today was excellent you know we created a lot of chances I still like to see the goal that John Daly you know and him and Alan McGregor collide together anywhere else in the park with two defenders it would have just been a play on I think you know um, but delighted we scored two good goals didn't play as well in the second half, but that's maybe a wee bit picky, I think, you know. We did still look dangerous in the counter-attack, but certainly we restricted Rangers to not a lot today. I felt 
Pernice had two good saves for Healy and Aluko first half and that's when you need your goalkeeper to keep you in the game but certainly uh, the goals we scored I was delighted with Dundee United's piece to Houston there obviously very delighted but only uh, under 18,000 at Ibrox today for that defeat very very low and those that were there weren't happy I'm very disappointed that there was no one well two they couldn't string a pass together if they saved their life the forward play there was no running on left wing nothing Part match went forward didn't, nah, didn't come back just disappointing the hour does it sum up what's happening at Rangers at the moment? I think it does. I think uh, the management upstairs need to take a good hard look at what they're doing. If they did not watch it, crowd you see in a day, it's got to be like that the rest of the season and maybe the season beyond. Do you feel the fans are, are now voting with their feet? Yes. I'm even thinking about uh, getting up my ticket next year. Just got to see how this uh, court case comes in and then we'll see if it goes. The ideas at all with them. It's terrible. It's terrible going out the cup, but the, the way they played was terrible. The ideas at all with McCoy. Nothing. Not a thing. Do you blame the manager? To an extent, aye. Because he's got to get them fired up and get them started. He's come out a couple of weeks ago and said they don't start in the first half. That's his job to get them started for the first bottle. No way to half time. We didn't create any chances, but we didn't have anybody to take any chances that we would have created. And do you feel that what's happening off the field is now definitely. transpiring onto the pitch? It's definitely affecting the players, aye. There's, there's nobody concentrating, nobody wants to shoot or anything. They're just they're all scared. They're just looking after themselves. They're not trying to play as a team, they're playing as individuals. Yeah, well, Ali McCoy is saying afterwards that the problems off the field, certainly with the tax man, are the main cause of the problems at the moment, having sold their main striker, Jelovic, as well, and his hands are financially tied at the moment. Uh, speaking of ties, uh, Hearts and St. Johnson drew in their game at Tyne Castle in the Scottish Cup. It finished one all, so that will go to a replay. Elsewhere, cricket, England need 324 runs in total in the fourth innings. If they're to win the third and final test in Dubai, they dismiss Pakistan for 365 Monty Panesar took 5 wickets England closed on 36 without loss so they need another 288 runs to win. Right, an amazing game in the Six Nations at the Aviva Stadium a last minute kick giving Wales a 23 points to 21 victory uh, at the Aviva Stadium against Ireland and Andy Gillies is with Jonathan Davis one of the key scorers of the Welsh points today, Jonathan Davis, as you say. Jonathan, well done. What a, what a game to play in and what a victory at the last moment. Yeah, it was a very good win. Um, fair play defence. He took on the pressure at the end and he, he could have a great kick and uh, we were fortunate. Like our discipline did let us down a bit. But yeah, it's a great win and boys are really buzzing now. Talk to us about, talk to us about your contribution, but particularly the first try. That was a stunning score. Yeah, to be fair, Doris, he got over the game line, got his hands free and he just had a... A nice little offload to me and I was just able to get in the corner and um, yeah, I was really happy to get the score then. So yeah, it's just, um, it was good for the team. Yeah. It, it was a terrific seesaw match and there were points when you seemed as, as if you were out of it. What was it that, that kept you going? I think just the ability. We knew that we, if we kept our pattern and kept in the game that we, we have the talent in our team and the, um, um, the belief in ourselves to put ourselves right, right, right up there and um, we kept in the game and uh, yeah we were really chuffed with the victory in the end. And, and the belief even when you were, were down to 14? Yeah we, we've been there before like unfortunately we've got to make sure our discipline's key now for the rest of the tournament and uh, we can dig in at times and it's, it's important that we can do this. Let's talk about that, that last minute goal kick from Lee Halfpenny. I, I think I'm right, I read that he even went out on Christmas Day to practice his goal kick so it paid off. Yeah, definitely. I, I looked over and we got the penalty and he was, uh, he was walking straight over and I, he had full confidence and he, had a, he stepped up, took a lot of pressure and yeah, it was a great kick and uh, match winner at the end. Some win and uh, given the fact that you have had a lot of injuries after the World Cup and form has been brilliant, that it, it, there must be a huge confidence boost for the side. Yeah, definitely. Like Coming in together, we knew what we um, could achieve. We have a lot of belief coming from the World Cup and a lot of um, momentum really and uh, we've got to keep building on this now and um, look forward to the rest of the tournament. Scotland next in Cardiff a week today. That's going to be some occasion. Yeah, looking forward to... Uh, Hopefully playing in the Millennium Stadium, hopefully be a good seller. There's, there's no better feeling really of playing there. So, uh, yeah, the boys will um, train hard this week and look forward to a tough game against Scotland. Well done. That was a fabulous game of rugby. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Andy Gillies speaking to Jonathan Davis, try scorer and victorious for Wales today as they got a last-minute penalty to win a pulsating match. Ireland 21, Wales 23. It means, of course, that the championship has France at the top, England second, and Wales third after round one. Elsewhere, Paul Laurie won his second Qatar Masters title 
Hospital by four shots after a final round of golf of 65. Laurie last won the Qatar title in 1999 and then he went on to win the Open at Carnoustie that year. It's Lytham St Anne's this summer. And in the Stobart Super League today, it finished Hull 20, Warrington 20, Wigan 16, Huddersfield 20. That was a bit of a shock. And in the 3.30 kickoff, latest score, Bradford 6, Catalan Dragons 30. And also, great news ahead of the Olympics. Britain's women are taking on the home side Argentina in the final of hockey's Champions Trophy tonight. First time they've ever got there. Uh, and you can watch that final live from 11 o'clock tonight on the BBC Red Button. And don't forget, of course, match of the day two tonight, where you'll see those goals from the Senegalese strikers for Newcastle against Aston Villa. And you'll also see an own goal. And who knows what else in the second half of Chelsea against Manchester United. Let's return to Stamford Bridge. Danny Mills, Mike Ingham and first Alan Green. Thanks, Ian. Uh, don't forget also that uh, I'll be presenting uh, 6.06 at the conclusion of this game. Uh, 0500 909 693 is the number to call. Uh, Chelsea are going to make a change here at the start of the second half. Oh, well, maybe they're not, sorry. Looks as if they're going to make a substitution, but they're not. So the two, two lineups are unchanged. I'll run through them quickly. Chelsea's goalkeeper and captain is Czech. The defence is Ivanovic, Luis, uh, Cahill, and Dosingua. In midfield, we've got Essien, Morales, and Mata. Maluda and Sturridge are wide. Torres through the middle. United's goalkeeper is De Gea. Partly at fault, has to be said, uh, for the own goal that gave Chelsea the lead in the first half. Their defence, Raphael, Ferdinand, Evans and Evra. Midfield of Valencia, Carrick, Giggs and Young. Up front, Welbeck and Rooney. You know you were the better side in the first half without question. Uh, they were quicker to the ball than Chelsea, who at times looked very pedestrian. But nevertheless, goals count. And Chelsea have the lead in the second half. They're in their blue shirts and blue shorts, white socks. Attacking the end to our right, the Matthew Harningstad. Torres plays the ball in deep, brilliant, fantastic volley from Mata. Absolutely sensational delivery from Torres in Italy. And what a left foot volley from the Spaniard. Early in the second half, Chelsea 2, Manchester United 0, a wonderful goal. Well, that's a goal that deserves to win any game. Absolutely nothing, uh, absolutely nothing that De Gea could do about that. Torres got it out wide, it was counted, it got it out of his feet. And I tell you what, it's the sort of cross that you would expect David Beckham in his prime to put in. He felt it into the far post, about a yard inside from the, the, the corner of the six-yard box. And one matter, a fantastic volley, keeps his eye on it all the way. And again, sheer power beats De Gea above his head. But again, it was interesting just before that, I was about to say, although Fernando Torres didn't score in the first half, I thought he looked a little bit brighter and a little bit sharper. Do you know the only thing that would have made that better from a Chelsea perspective, that goal? If it had it been, been the other, other way around. around. If, it, if it had been Matters cross and Torres with that sensational volley. Well, well they'll take it. And now certain, the champions are really up against it. They certainly are. You know, they was probably the better side of the first half. The goal came against the run of play. Um, but that goal, really now, United have got to come out and score three if they want to go back level with Manchester City. Well, I hear that Cissé's got a great goal on his debut for Newcastle United. I didn't see the game, but I wonder if it could have been better than that one uh, scored by Mata. But really, it was all about the cross. You know, for, for, those, for those that obviously can't see it, you know, imagine David Beckham in his prime on the right-hand side, got the ball out of his feet and hit that bendy cross to the far post. Keeper can't come for it. Absolutely weighted, flighted perfectly. You know, and so inviting for Mata to smash into the back of the net. So Manchester United with the best away record in the Premier League this season. 2-0 down. There's a, a glancing header from Torres. Uh, just goes well wide. And it's out of play. Mike Ingham's trying to pass me a note. But it drifts to the floor, is rescued. What is it? 24 seconds into the second half. That's all it was. Well, and again, that's a real setback for Manchester United. Alex Ferguson sent his team out early. I think they've been harsh words. You know, step up, lads need to get behind the Chelsea defence. The full-backs, I think, have done pretty well, Ivanovic and Basinga so far. You know, and they would have had a game plan for this second half, and suddenly now it, it goes out the window. Well, Chelsea will be cheered on by the sky-blue half of Manchester. They lead Manchester United by two goals to nil. Here's Mata, score of the wonderful second goal. 
onto Sturridge, a couple of yards outside the United penalty here. Stepping away from Ashley Young and then maybe hustled by Giggs. Ball goes back to Morella as well as sweeps in the shot, but it's over the crossbar and into the crowd. Well, Chelsea now obviously a lot more confident. They've got that two-goal cushion. And again, it's them in the last two or three minutes that are in the descendancy. Again, Torres, I think he's done OK so far today. There's a couple of times in, in the centre of the pitch where he's brought the ball down, good touches, good turns. Again, it's just that final third, um, you know, where he hasn't really had an opportunity to get a strike on goal. Ball's out of play on the far side of the field. Throw in to Manchester United. Uh, Raphael, uh, the full-back, takes it. Uh, gives it to Carrick. Carrick's immediately under pressure from Maluda, but still gets the ball back. To Rio Ferdinand, I wish they'd forget to boo Rio Ferdinand. It's getting tedious now. I had it all my career, Alan, at every single ground I went to. But you were a terrible guy. I mean, you were <laughs> rightly booed everywhere. I think I was booed even more than you were. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the edge. Here's Sturridge now, down the right side, and got past Ever, then Ever brought him down. It's a free kick, and it might be a yellow card for the United captain. I think it will be a yellow card. Yep. Well, United have just got to get a little bit of composure there. Chelsea again, suddenly right at it. Sturridge running at people, always very, very difficult. United just need to settle down, see out this next five minutes or so, uh, and then decide what they're going to do. Three, right. three substitutes warming up. Scholes, uh, Hernandez, and uh, and Park. I think, and surely two or three of those, are, uh, two out of the three of those, have got to come on fairly soon. Well, the free kick is to the right of the United penalty area. As Chelsea look at it. Matin's going to take it, left-footed. Luis is in there, Ivanovic, and of course Cahill, as well as Torres and uh, Sturridge. So considerable threat to De Gea's goal. Mata plays it in. Oh, Luis with the header into the net, and it's 3 0 to Chelsea. The defence of young Manchester United, absolutely static. Pinpoint free kick from Mata. Luis with a header, and Chelsea are on his side. Chelsea 3, Manchester United 0. Well, incredible. Again, we, we said it in this first half. Set pieces was certainly going to be a danger to Manchester United. It's Rio Ferdinand loses his man, allows uh, David Louis to get across him, get a yard of space. It comes off uh, Louis almost head and shoulder, and then I think it hits Rio Ferdinand on the way through. But again, Rio's got to be better than that. He's got to get tighter. Certainly can't allow. Uh, David Luiz have that much space and well I don't think it's an own goal but certainly the deflection did uh, David De Gea no favours whatsoever absolutely I mean the, the header was was heading towards goal but it took such a, a wicked deflection off Ferdinand I mean De Gea had absolutely no chance at all 3-0 uh, at this point welcome to listeners on the BBC's World Service a dramatic opening six minutes to the second half first of all a fantastic volley fantastic volley uh, for Chelsea from Mata, that was what, just 24 seconds into the second period, and now Louise has headed a third goal. Chelsea three, Manchester United nil. And wow, you, you could not have seen this coming in the first half. No, definitely not. But Mike Ingham's just reminded me there that uh, one Mata involved in all three goals. The creator really of the of the first one with that little pass. Scorer of the second, uh, and again a fantastic free kick into the the near post for the third. Here's Ebra from Manchester United, who have to respond very, very quickly. Back to Young. Young began this game brightly and has been uh, less effective after that first period. Now, here's the first change. Hernandez is coming on. I still think, though, Alan, that the, the press conference, from certainly from Sir Alex Ferguson, will be all about the penalty, obviously, that, that wasn't given, you know, at nil-nil. Had that been given and been scored, obviously would have been a completely different game. Well, I wasn't anticipating that change, actually. I was saying that Ashley Young had faded after a bright start, but he's been replaced by Hernandez, so it looks as if Welbeck has come wide to the left side. Uh, Hernandez furthest forward of the United 11 and Rooney just behind him. Chelsea 3, Manchester United 0 here on 5 Live in the World Service on the BBC. And earlier, remember, it finished Newcastle United 2, Aston Villa one and for listeners to the domestic service remember 606 and we'll follow the commentary i'll be presenting from stamford bridge 0500 909 693 united to repeat the better side in the first half should have had a penalty uh, for a challenge by cahill on welbeck denied by hard web and then an own goal put chelsea in front but totally changed now chelsea leading 3-0 
Check with a free kick. Played down the left side towards Basingua, who seemed to run into Raphael. Hardware spotted that and awards a free kick to Manchester United. Well, I think, you know, Ashley Young has it's done OK today, but I think Ivanovic has played him very, very well. Outstanding. You know, experienced fullback, obviously nowhere near the pace uh, that obviously uh, Ashley Young has got. But what he's done, every time he's got the ball, he's got very, very tight to him and hasn't allowed him to build up a head of steam uh, and get running at him. Ferdinand plays the ball back to De Gea, which I'm sure the uh, Spanish goalkeeper didn't want that pass back. It's head up field. Uh, by Manchester United, but Chelsea regained possession on the far side. They, they look much more energetic, Chelsea. Yeah, the they certainly period. do. Well, I, I was just thinking about something that Mike said. Um, you know, add the has the booing affected Rio Ferdinand? He, he hasn't quite had the same edge. He's made one or two mistakes, and you just wonder whether you know all this uh, surrounding the England captaincy. You know, his interview on Football Focus getting booed today. You know, he's just lost concentration uh, once or twice. Check with a clearance for Chelsea. Hit high towards the halfway line. Torres jumps, heads it on. Uh, further headed upfield by Maluda. But oh, there was a challenge there by Evans on Mata. And I think it's a free kick to Chelsea. Just short of the halfway line. Well, Andre Bias boasts the Chelsea coach looks pretty impassive in the home dugout. But um, beneath right, the he, exterior, he be. he'll be. So he must be absolutely delighted uh, inside. You know, would have thought today would have been a really tough game. Still, United haven't really tested Czech, um, apart from, you know, shots from distance. Chelsea unbeaten in 2012 and beating the league champions at the moment by three goals to nil here. There is a push by Hernandez on Luis and it's a free kick to Chelsea. So that revised uh, 11 for United. Welbeck on the left in midfield, Valencia on the right, Carrick and Giggs between the two wide players, really in support of Fernandez. They've also got Scholes to bring on if they want, and Park, who frequently uh, plays really well against Chelsea, usually selected by Sir Alex Ferguson for, quote, the big games, but only on the bench today. It's head up field by De Gea. Uh, Cahill heads it away from Rooney. Ball's on the halfway line and with Sturridge for Chelsea. Sturridge, oh, then almost tripped in the ball, that just manages to get it back to Ivanovic. His ball off the... Oh, that fur from Johnny Evans. Uh, Chelsea have it. Torres, Tamata, great break forward by Malou, and Mata's pass was poor, intercepted by Rafael, or else it was a threat of a fourth goal there. Right, oh, just got stuck under Mata's feet, you know, little first time, bad touch, couldn't get it, couldn't dig it out of his feet and get the pass out to the left-hand side. But again, it was a... A mistake from Johnny Evans uh, that almost let Chelsea in. Well, neither Evans or Ferdinand have played especially well. But I tell you what, at the other end, I don't know, I think Chelsea have done. I think David Luiz has been pretty solid at the back. Cahill looks to have fitted in really well. Uh, and I think, obviously, both fullbacks. Ivanovic has been fantastic for me. Uh, and also Basingua uh, has kept Valencia pretty quiet on that far side. 11 dramatic minutes played in this second half. Chelsea have scored twice, now they lead by three goals to nil. Here's Rooney for Manchester United. Ball breaks kindly after the champions. The Giggs into Evra, into the penalty. Tackled by Sturry. He's given a penalty hard well. Well, was that a foul tackle by Sturridge? Well, in real time, I would not have given it. Simple as that. Oh, he, he did catch him on the back of the ankle. He did. But I must admit, when uh, I saw it in real time, I didn't think that was a, a foul and therefore not a penalty kick. Perhaps Hardware got that one right. Seeing it again second time, there was definitely a little bit of contact. I think, you know, Howard Wright is within his rights, maybe, to give it. It's one of those. It's a, a soft one, uh, but certainly could see why Howard Webb gave it. But I also suspect there was an awful lot of pressure at half-time put on Howard Webb. Rooney wants his 19th goal of the season. Has to score from this penalty to bring Manchester United back into the game here at Stamford Bridge. Check with both arms wide. Here comes Rooney. Rooney shoots it high into the net. That's a great penalty. And it's back to Chelsea 3, Manchester United 1. Well, a fantastic penalty. I thought he was going to go to Czech's bottom left. Went completely the opposite direction. Drilled it into the top corner. Even if Czech had gone the right way, had no chance of saving that. And, well, suddenly now, we really have a game on our hands. He's had the old problem with penalties of late. Uh, Wayne Rooney, but none here at Stamford Bridge. Just getting another replay of the incident involving Sturridge and Everett 
and I, I do think Hardware was right, even if my initial instinct was that. Yeah, it was no, right. I, I think it's one of those. It's harsh, you know, and, and certainly you've seen them not given. Uh, but I think Howard Webb was, was in his rights to give that one. Carrick, back to Evans, on to Raphael on the far side of the field. You can be sure of one thing, Manchester United will not be giving up here. Uh, we're 3-0 down, now it's back to 3-1. Valencia on the far side. Valencia down the United right, uh, trying to get past Basingo. Basingo's having trouble with him, and uh, Valencia then pulls Basingo down, and it's a free kick to Chelsea. Well, I've seen one Chelsea disaster so far this season. When Arsenal were here um, at the start of the season, I think they were leading in that game. And then Arsenal came back and, you know, ripped them apart uh, in the second half. You know, and Chelsea fans and uh, the players will certainly be hoping that that doesn't happen again. Free kick taken by Petr Cech, the Chelsea goalkeeper, driven towards Fernando Torres on the far side of the field. Headed away by Rafael out of play, and it's a throw into Chelsea, 20, 30 yards inside the United half in front of the west stand on the far side of the field and Basingua to take the throw in throws uh, to Torres Torres gets past two defenders onto Mata Mata's back heel falls kindly here's Maluda uh, leaves it for Essien and Essien instead of shooting at goal tried to step inside of Giggs lost out to the Welshman and Giggs plays it forward towards Rooney Louise trying to uh, Shepard Fernandez rather away from goal then he's helped out by the outstanding Ivanovic and Ivanovic finds Essien much yeah. better game in the second half yeah obviously it's a much more open United have got to go and attack and of course they're leaving themselves a little bit open uh, to the counter attack now Essien to Maluda Maluda now about 25 yards out from goal gives it to Sturridge edge of the penalty Sturridge on his left foot uh, what's he going to do onto his right foot still has no room for the shot edge of the penalty area and now being forced a little wide. Sturridge turns again, and he was really hustling further in there, but then the shot finally was wide of goal, and it's a goal kick. Yeah, against Sturridge, you know, a little bit of a, a one-man show. It had been held up, you know, for 10, 15 seconds, or good defending by Rio Ferdinand, then just needed to, to pass the ball and move, but got a little bit greedy uh, and went for a, an over-ambitious shot. The first quarter of an hour, in the second half has absolutely flown by here on Five Live and World Service and the BBC. Chelsea 3, Manchester United 1. It was 1-0 to Chelsea at half-time, three goals in the first 15 minutes of the second half. Luis with a free kick for Chelsea, driven towards Torres, headed down by Evra, and it was good defensive work by the United captain. Finding Giggs, Giggs over the halfway line, near side of the field, the left, and then he played in the direction of Welbeck. Once more, Ivanovic, you know, doesn't matter if he's got a relative lack of pace, he can defend, and he clears it to Essien, Essien to Sturridge, and Sturridge, well, that's an ambitious pass in the direction of Torres, what's De Gea doing out to the edge of his penalty area? Uh, still makes me nervous, De Gea. Throws the ball out, though, to Raphael on the far side of the field, Manchester United right, and into Carrick. It was a rash pass by Raphael, could have been intercepted by two Chelsea players, but Carrick runs forward, and then in towards Rooney. Uh, important interception by Morales and Chelsea can counter-attack here Mata being hustled by Valencia Mata into the centre circle to Morales, good ball by the Portuguese international finding Maluda, Maluda with Basingba wide on the far side, the Chelsea left uh, Maluda slowing things down plays it back to the Ghanaian, Essien wide to Basingba Maluda once more and Essien again Essien now uh, flicks the ball to the right side to Mata, whose goal within 24 seconds of the second half lit up Stamford Bridge. Fantastic volley, uh, left foot volley after a wonderful cross by Fernando Torres. Here's Morales. Morales in towards Maluda, but ahead of uh, Maluda, and one bounce it through to De Gea. Here's Paul Scholes. Well, Chelsea are, are much better when they play quick and they play on the break. When they try and play it slowly and, and play it through midfield, they, they just seem to run out of ideas when they get in and around the box. It'll be interesting who Sir Alex takes off to uh, introduce goals as substitute. Is it this man, Giggs? Giggs in to Rooney. And Rooney glides the ball toward the far side. Beautiful pass to Valencia. Uh, stab back to Rafael. The cross into the penalty. Ivanovic with a header away. And Essien's going to get there before Evra. And cleverly plays it off Evra. And now uh, the referee's got that wrong. That should have been a Chelsea throw. Yeah, it's the second time that Essien's done that. He just waits uh, and hesitates. You know, waits for the player to come in, then makes the tackle and gets the deflection to, well, which should have been uh, a Chelsea throw. But, oh, interestingly, scores for Raphael. 
so I presume this will be a, a change of formation. Looks like Valencia is going back towards yeah, Valencia right frequently back. Frequently plays Valencia right back. But it's odd. Valencia consistently delivers from that right side. Mind you, you know, he's so attacked, mind you, he'll still play up there anyway, Danny. But you're right, you know, Giggs has been pretty quiet, I think, today. I thought so. I hasn't thought really Giggs been the in man. The, yeah, hasn't really been in the game uh, an awful lot so far. And again, Ryan Giggs, I think, great in a team when you're uh, drawing or doing well. I'm not sort of sure what he offers uh, if you're losing and, and chasing the game these days. Uh, 18 and a half minutes gone in the second half at Stamford Bridge. You're listening to Five Live in the World Service on the BBC. Chelsea 3, Manchester United 1. And remember, Manchester City won yesterday, so they're currently three points clear at the top of the Barclays Premier League, having lost... Uh, at Goodison Park to Everton in midweek and watched as Manchester United went level on points here's Mata for Chelsea Mata into Essien Essien on his left foot uh, the shot driven into the body of Valencia and rebounds kindly on the far side of the field it's Welbeck's now down the right side supported now by Valencia Valencia looking and surging forward now level with the edge of the penalty the cross is very deep looking for Rooney uh, oh, whoa. Did he mean that, Ivanovic? If he did, it was a brilliant defensive penner. I'm not sure he Morales. did. He almost lost uh, sight of it, turned his back, but it hit him on the back of the head and, and dropped down Morales. Of course, United now rampant on the attack as soon as they've got the ball, but it means the game is very, very wide, yeah. wide open. And, and very, very stretched as well, and I think it's, it's fantastic for, for Chelsea. Uh, and even Fernando Torres, that this is the sort of game he wants to be in, you know, playing on the counter-attack. Uh, news of the African Cup of Nations, uh, quarter-final, uh, Gabon, one of the hosts, are leading Mali 1-0. That's the latest score. Gabon 1, Mali 0. Ball is back with Ivanovic for Chelsea. Absolutely wonderful at right back today, Ivanovic. On to Sturridge. And again, Chelsea slowing it down a little bit. And they don't look remotely as effective when they do that. 20 minutes played in the second half. Louise rushes for That's a glorious ball to Maluda, who's onside. Torres holding back. It's pulled back. Doesn't... Uh, Reach Torres and finally the shot from Mata too close for the hair who catches and throws the right quickly to the near side and gigs. Well, but again, <laughs> how unlucky is Fernando Torres? The cutback was it meant for made, him. you know, made for the, the pullback. Uh, it was, it, it, it checked his run, you know, almost stopped, held the space, waited for the ball, and it just caught a Manchester United player on the way through it and got deflected to Mata. Good header down by Hernandez to Rooney. Rooney shot driven across the face of goal. It was a yard wide in the end, and it's a goal kick to Chelsea. Well, United, again, still haven't really got in behind Chelsea's defence um, at all. And I think, you know, they, Cahill has obviously been training uh, for the last two or three weeks. Looks to have settled in really well. Both fullbacks have played well today. Neither Valencia... Uh, uh, Welbeck have, have been able to get in behind or even Giggs now down this left-hand side and, and I think Chelsea have, have defended when they've had to uh, organised and defended well Well done Torres, finding Mata Mata on to uh, Maluda on the far side of the field edge of the penalty here Morelles is waiting on the edge of the box cross into the penalty here. just a little too high for Torres good defensive header that by Ferdinand and now Scholes the latest Manchester United substitute a yard outside his own penalty here to Welbeck back to Scholes uh, we've got Giggs down the left side at the moment. Scholes picks out Rooney. And Giggs, plenty of room down the left. Taken up by the Welshman. Moving in field. Gives the ball to Rooney. Couple of yards outside the penalty. Hernandez, Rooney shot. Saved by Czech. Good play from United. Quick, incisive football. Good little one-two on the edge of the box. Rooney didn't really get hold of it. Great little layoff. Uh, but Rooney just tried to side put it into the bottom corner and didn't have enough pace to beat Pella Cech. Let me remind listeners to the Domestic Service 5 Live that uh, I'll be hosting the phone-in 606 from Stamford Bridge at 6 o'clock. Uh, 0500 909 693 is the number to call as Maluda rushes forward now for Chelsea. Uh, then it's a limp pass towards Torres, easily intercepted by Carrick. United on the counter-attack here. Rooney to Hernandez on the far side of the field. We've reached the midway point in the second half, and here's Mike Ingham. Rooney looking to release Hernandez. Hernandez has to check on the edge of the penalty area. It may drop here to Danny Welbeck, who's gone down under the challenge from Ivanovic. It's another penalty. Would you believe it? Sir Alex Ferguson thought he should have had a penalty after 10 minutes. He's had one now from Rooney, and he's... He's got another, and will Rooney take this? Alan, absolutely right. Before today, Rooney'd missed four of his previous eight penalties. 
Well, just what did seen, you think, Danny? Just seeing the replay, I think that's even worse than Adam Johnson's yesterday. I think I don't think there's anything in that at all. Ivanovic stops, pulls out his foot, planted on the floor, and Welbeck just runs into his toe effectively. I, I don't see what else Ivanovic could have done. He, he pulled out the first challenge on Hernandez, went to look to who's going to challenge uh, again, and then stopped. And, and Welbeck just fell over his foot. I, I think that's very, very harsh. What a pressure penalty this is for Wayne Rooney. He smashed the last one past Pedacek. Here he comes now with his second penalty of the game and he sends Czech the wrong way and it's the first time for nine years, I think, in the Premier League that United have managed more than one goal in a Premier League game, but even more important, Danny, they're right back in this. 3-2 now to Chelsea. They certainly are. I think, you know, well, we had a penalty that wasn't given in the first half. I think we then had a, well, a, a soft penalty given uh, for the foul on Evra. But I think that when I think Ivanovic is very, very harshly done by. Rooney puts it away, opposite corner, uh, as we did before. Just see there, get at the replay. He pulls out the first tackle, he stopped. Ivanovic has stopped, he slipped a little bit, he then stops, and then Welbeck falls over his leg, um, if nothing else. And I he, don't think there's any intent whatsoever, and I don't believe that's a penalty. Well, he's been outstanding in the game, Ivanovic. Torres has tumbled over. Romeo's going to come on for Chelsea in a moment. I don't think if United lose this game now that Sir Alex Ferguson can play the card afterwards that he would have done, that he thought they should have had a penalty after 10 minutes because Howard Webb's given him two in the second half, and as Danny Mills was saying, the second one highly debatable. But Rooney's lashed them both in, and... The referee, Howard Webb, spots that Romeo is ready to come on, and he will come on, and he'll come on for Sturridge. And I was thinking while Alan was commentating, and by the way, Alan, it was worth that five-hour flight after all the game. Um, I was thinking, Jose Mourinho is bound to be watching this somewhere in Spain, and it will just be underlining, uh, won't it, Danny, why he misses the English game and misses the passion of the English game. Oh, definitely. You know, and we talk about, you know, if Mourinho leaves Madrid, where would he go? Of course, I think he would, of course, would love the Manchester United job. But if Manchester United manage to get back in this game, manage to retain their title, may there be a vacancy at Manchester City? And, and would he take that with the knowledge that it wouldn't stand him in good stead if he wanted the United job at some well, stage? I was watching Mourinho's match at Getafe last night. It was dull, it was quiet, it was boring. In goes a free kick for Chelsea. It's not that here. It's 3-2 to Chelsea. They look to have the game completely won. Five minutes into the second half. 1-0 at half-time. A goal after 24 seconds. Hernandez has come on, but he won't get that. Out comes Czech to tidy up in the Chelsea goal. And we still have 20 minutes to go in the game. And suddenly Manchester City now a little more anxious. Their fans listening in and watching on as well. And by the way, Alan giving you that score from the Africa Cup of Nations earlier. I watched Didier Drogba last night. Had a fantastic goal for the Ivory Coast. Uh, but they're in the semi-final. But Chelsea haven't missed him here today so far. Just, just going back to the penalty, the second penalty, Mike. Was that not a goal scored opportunity? Do you not think if he's given the penalty, it should at least have been a booking? Yeah. Well, yes, haven't even, haven't even picked that one up, you're right. So it's 3 2 to Chelsea. Manchester United were the better team in the first half. They were the more incisive side. Chelsea were too slow. They went in front through Evans' own goal after 36 minutes. Now it's Patrice Evra who won the first penalty against Sturridge going forward. And we had Matter lashing in. A dream goal from Torres Cross, 24 seconds into the second half, and then Luis heading in Matters free kick, and we thought that was it. But United have come back, Howard Webb's given them two penalties, Rooney has scored them both, and it's going to be a fantastic finish here. Next goal, huge. Rooney for Manchester United. 3-2 to Chelsea on five live and world service. Ryan Giggs for United, looking for Hernandez to make the run. Ivanovic is there with the block, and the ball spins away for a Manchester United corner, and all their fans are behind the goal they're attacking. Well, we, we were said earlier, Mike, we were both here, when uh, you know Chelsea had that disastrous game when they completely threw it away against Arsenal. Are they likely to do it again? It's a short uh, corner kick, and who knows, as Skulls has possession now for Manchester United, and feeds Valencia down the right-hand side. Valencia's cross in, uh, partially cleared by Chelsea. Who knows, it may be Vyrs Bos who has the right to complain about penalties after the game if Chelsea don't win this. He's as an animated as ever down there, as Mata, his player, sends the ball brilliantly across to the far side of the field, and Chelsea now build down the left until across comes Valencia, and it's out of play. I remember Valencia playing here in the Champions League at right-back against Chelsea when United won here last season 1-0. Throw to Chelsea, for Singwa to take it, and we still have 17 or 18 minutes left in the game. 
Well, it's incredible that how this game has swung uh, from one to the other. Maluda, good play. Shot driven in from Essien, well wide. Essien, and that might even be a throw in, it is, down this near side. Essien, who nearly scored with his first kick when he came back into the Chelsea team as a substitute at Swansea in midweek. They've really missed him. Remember, a Chelsea team today without Cole, Terry, Lampard and Drogba. For different reasons. Throw to United, they have to get this right. This is right by the corner flag near side. Evra and Giggs, and back again to Evra, and Evra's clearance towards the halfway line. In goes Cahill, gets in first ahead of Hernandez. Uh, Chelsea lose their way, Essien's lost it. Great play from Rooney, jumps around the challenge from Romeo. He's got two players ahead of him, but he tried to find Welbeck, and Cahill was there with such an important interception for Chelsea. No, I but it breaks down again in midfield. As Ryan Giggs now has it, and gives it early to Hernandez inside the penalty area. Cross shot from Hernandez is wide. Yeah, it looked like Hernandez was caught in two minds. Does he cross it? Does he shoot? And then did neither. Yeah, and dragged what I think was, was possibly a cross. Um, you know, looking for players tumbling in. But again, Chelsea, just before that, I was going to say, Cahill's done pretty well today. Looks pretty solid. Has not been spectacular, but gone about his business pretty well. But the ascendancy now, certainly with, with Manchester United, and, well, if there's a next goal, it's going to be absolutely crucial. I think if United get it, they could well go on and win the game. Not the easiest of games to make your Premier League debut in for Gary Cahill, home to Manchester United, but as Danny Mills has been saying, he and Luis, for the most part, have looked OK. Valencia now on the halfway line to Carrick. And now Scholes, United getting more possession. 3-2 to Chelsea. Scholes with a typical Scholes ball, brilliantly executed to Giggs. Didn't control it first time, though. Ivanovic steals the ball off the Welshman. And Chelsea now try to set off. And, of course, United have to be careful as ever as they push forward that they don't leave the gaps. Uh, Morellas had made a run, but Chelsea keep it short. And the crowd, I think, got a little bit impatient there. They could see Morellas running hard, but it was a safety first pass from Chelsea. Now Romeo slotting into the game immediately. On to Mata, giving quite a lot of space and freedom in midfield. It's gone down the left-hand side. And it's Maluda now taking on Valencia. Maluda's into the penalty area. Torres on the chest, back to Essien, Essien's drive and De Gea flucked at that and palms the ball over the bar for a corner kick. Oh, he just about got a touch to it and Mata will, will take this corner kick down the right-hand side. Well, again, it was a good layoff from Fernando Torres, but what David De Gea was doing, I do not know. He went to punch the ball, which would have been a routine save. Put your hands up, catch it, about head high, he went to punch it, almost got it wrong and it just deflected over the bye. Oh, really, United have serious issues with their goalkeeper. This is a test for Manchester United, with Luis, Ivanovic and Cahill, but it was a poor corner, and it was scuffed corner by Mata, it was cleared by Manchester United. Chelsea have it back once more. They're down this right-hand side, Mata involved in all three of the Chelsea goals. Chelsea at the moment playing slow, walking pace, and from the halfway line, young Romeo sends the ball back to his goalkeeper, who's much more convincing. Check in the Chelsea goal than De Gea. Ivanovic has stayed forward, that's a great header! Here goes Fernando Torres to try and win the game for Chelsea! Torres, oh, he just checked and then found himself faced by Valencia and it was too much for the Spanish international. That look, they all stood up around us here, sensing this could be Torres' moment to seal the game for Chelsea, but it wasn't. And now Chelsea have another chance with Maluda. Shooting chance for Maluda over the bar. It, he just wanted, crucially, Danny, that extra second. Oh, it, it just wouldn't drop for him. I, I thought that was going to be the moment. A fantastic flick on uh, from Ivanovic. A chested the ball past Rio Ferdinand, and then you thought, hit it then. I think, oh, sorry, Johnny Evans slid across and maybe was just going to get the block in. And I think Torres thought, well, if I check back, and then it was unfortunate that Valencia came back in. It just wouldn't drop for him to hit almost first time on the volley. He just turned into trouble in the end that the Torres of old might have just taken that one in his stride. Now Ferdinand for Manchester United, building through Skulls in the deep. Skulls now this time to the right. Oh, what a great ball from Skulls. Fantastic, he can do those sorts of things with his eyes closed. It's Valencia. Back to Michael Carrick. United building patiently here, and it's Skulls once more in central midfield. 3-2 to Chelsea. Five live in BBC World Service. 13 minutes to go. Great game. Carrick, Hernandez, given away by Hernandez. Sloppy in didn't really look and Maluda's tracking back now over on the far side Welbeck makes him play it and he's given it away to Valencia into Carrick that was poor defending by Chelsea United building once more it's Danny Welbeck it's very tight over on the right hand side Valencia has to go backwards and Carrick ever available and now into the centre circle we find Skulls and Ferdinand and they come down below us now 
with Patrice Evra. Evra goes around, Matter didn't make much of a challenge there, Matter. Skulls again. Every pass here has to be precise, though, from United. Otherwise, Chelsea will be in for a counter. It's Johnny Evans now going into the Chelsea half. Evans for Manchester United, chasing the game. Skulls with a dink ball this time, it doesn't work. It's over well there. And it's a goal kick that you can sense now around the old place here. Just a little bit more anxiety. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but again, just watching Cahill marshalling the defence, shouting at people, waving his arms, organising everything. But just going back to what you said about Fernando Torres, just picking up on that. You know, you're right. Fernando Torres of old would have gambled, you know, would have got to that and would have hit the shot no matter what. Whether it gone in, whether it got blocked, not a problem. And because he's void of confidence, he's almost trying too hard to be too precise, you know, and make that goal a little bit too easy for him you know by checking back inside again you know and, and that's the difference that extra split second of time you know it has just cost him again well, what a mo it would have been a Melchester Rovers moment that if he'd scored that that would have taken the roof off this stadium as well it, it just seemed to be dropping for him uh, you could see the headlines being written tomorrow morning but it's still 3-2 only to Chelsea Manchester United are going to get more opportunities it's another good ball to find skulls and Chelsea have to track back there's now Evra given a lot of freedom down this near side. Skulls joining in again, knitting it all together in midfield. United building now with Carrick. Carrick normally selects the right pass. It goes to the right-hand side. And United build through Danny Welbeck. They've got Welbeck and Han Hernandez and Rooney all up front. Hernandez is not really slotted into the game yet. And Chelsea give an innocuous ball back. And that won't please Vias Boas because they've handed the possession right back to Manchester United once more. Just over 10 minutes to go of normal time. Ferdinand still relentlessly and pathetically being bulled by some of the Chelsea supporters here. Skulls, a lot of freedom at the moment United finding in midfield. Chelsea retreating. Carrick again to Rooney. Uh, Rooney looked for Giggs and it shouldn't really have reached him, but Romeo didn't cut it out. Carrick again now to Giggs. Uh, United forced to go square at the moment. All the blue shirts back behind the ball. Skulls once more. Two penalties from Wayne Rooney. And now Scholes with a loose ball, but Romeo can't make anything of it. And it's back again with a visiting side. Only beaten once this season away from home at Newcastle. Valencia, right-hand side. Scholes seeing so much of it at the moment. It's on to Carrick. Carrick now to Welbeck. Welbeck stretches. Here goes Danny Welbeck for Manchester United. Great block on the edge of the penalty area by Gary Cale, I think it was. Headed back in again by Manchester United. They can't get out of their own half here, Chelsea. They've been trapped here. Skulls with the outside of the foot across the field. On to Evra. Vieres Boas tries to help them from the sidelines as Giggs now finds Rooney. Lovely first touch from Rooney. Rooney now square to Skulls again. The moment United seem to have an extra player on the field. Valencia down the right-hand side. 3-2 to Chelsea. Skulls back again to Ferdinand. Constant possession here from Manchester United looking for another goal to make it level here. They're down. 3-2, Giggs skips him from this touchline, sends Evra forward, Evra now, can he get the cross in, Ivanovic is there again, with an important block, but it's a corner to Manchester United. Well, how many times have we seen Manchester United do this, you know, constant pressure, slowly building it, keep passing it around, just waiting for that opportunity, Chelsea have got to keep hold of the ball better, they've got to retain possession when they get it back. 3-0 down, up. five minutes into the second half, 3-2 down now, Manchester United corner kick is taken by Ryan Giggs and a lot of players missed that and Welbeck came in and saw it late and headed it in the end five yards wide of the target goal kick to Chelsea into the last 10 minutes of the game very difficult chance for Welbeck he'd just gone past the near post he was trying to twist his head and that's always difficult trying to head it get plenty of power and sort of almost glance it on as well that's a very very difficult skill when there's not a lot of pace in the ball 41,688 here Newcastle, remember today, have beaten Aston Villa 2-1. Just at the moment, Newcastle are level on points with Chelsea, but Chelsea are leading Manchester United here by three goals to two as Rooney tries his luck, but he's outnumbered by Chelsea players. Can Chelsea counter-attack? Now, Morelis closed down, foul by Giggs. And that's not good play, really, considering all of his experience. Manchester United and Giggs don't need to concede free kicks if they're to get back into this game. Yeah, it just allows Chelsea to get a little bit of a breather, a little bit of a rest, and Chelsea now... They've just got to get themselves composed, get back into the game, you know, get control of the ball. Just get five or six passes uh, in the Manchester United half. Cahill's free kick, swung forward towards Torres, taken on the chest by Torres. And well taken as well, Evans was nowhere near it. Chelsea building now and getting rare moments on the ball with Romeo and Essien. Essien now for Maluda. 
Torres on the edge of the penalty area as Maluda goes forward and still Maluda and then he lifts it well wide it's going to run across to this near side for a throw and if it, if it goes out it doesn't but now it does as um, Matas lost out against Evra who takes the throw quickly and Manchester United look to go forward it's Gabon 1, Mali 1 now in the Africa Cup of Nations and Park Ji Sung is about to come on here uh, for Manchester United remember him scoring here in one of the league matches about three seasons ago. He's coming on soon for Manchester United. Here now goes Valencia down the right-hand side. The ball in towards Rooney. Rooney gets the shot in. Check, palms it away. Drops to Giggs, left-hand side. Giggs ball in, header in! And a goal by Hernandez! Hernandez has done it here for Manchester United. 3-0 down, five minutes into the second half. And now with just over six minutes to go, Chicharito Hernandez has made it Chelsea 3, Manchester United 3. What a comeback. Well, incredible. Fantastic turnaround from Manchester United. I thought the chance had gone. Rooney, brilliant skill on the edge of the box. Fantastic to get the shot away. Too close to check. And then again, the second time came in, the cross came in. Nobody picked up Hernandez. How many times have we seen him find a little bit of space in the six-yard box? And again, too much power on it to Pedicek, too close for him to react, and United are back in it. And again, this is reminiscent of Chelsea's collapse against Arsenal. The ball was just over Cahill. He just couldn't stretch to get the cross. Rooney had done very well initially to get the shot on. Check now, for now uh, Ferdinand having problems against Torres. Well, this was, I mean, this was a slow burner in the first well, half. Well, I, I think that's the first time that the, the Chelsea defence have lost concentration. You know, the first time that uh, Gary Cahill uh, and David Luiz have looked culpable um, at the back, and it's that second phase. They did so well to try and shut out Rooney from the first one. They just lost a little bit of concentration on that second ball coming in, took their eye off the ball and allowed Hernandez, you know, a couple of yards of space. Now it's Fierce Bose who may have uh, more reason to be upset with the decisions from Howard Webb after the game. Chelsea, three. Manchester United 3. Park has come on for Welbeck, by the way, while all that was happening. So, which way is it going to go? Could we have a winning side still in this game? Skulls, what a fight back by Manchester United. United fans jubilant. Chelsea fans have gone very quiet. It was a great atmosphere here around about 10, 15 minutes ago. Rooney now for Manchester United to Carrick. Carrick just biding his time, gives it, oh, this time Rooney doesn't control it. Rare moment in the game as Rooney, Rooney's control lets him down, and now Mata as Chelsea trying to get out of their own half. Mata now, down the line, near side to Ivanovic. He doesn't really deserve to be on the losing side today. He's been terrific, Ivanovic. He just holds, there's nobody going to help him out here, Ivanovic. And now eventually he knocks it long to the far side of the field. And Chelsea look to Louise. Louise now, and the United players are backing off. Only Skulls moves towards him. Luis travels a long way with the ball, little shuffle, and he does well to climb around the challenge from Valencia. The cross comes in from the left-hand side, and Morelis, off balance, heads it over the bar for a Manchester United goal kick. Yeah, again, great ball into the box, superb cross, and it was just behind Morelis. He was having to lean back uh, and try and get his header on target, couldn't quite manage it. But at the moment, you know, you have to say, what a, what a fantastic 35 minutes uh, from Manchester United. Three goals down, I thought they were dead, they were buried, and they were out of this game. They got back into it with a penalty, back into it again with a very, very debatable penalty. Um, but yet again, you know, uh, Hernandez, Chicharito, whatever you want to call him, pops up with a crucial equaliser. And I think now the ascendancy is with United, and, well, they could possibly go on to win it. Can't believe people are leaving, though, because it could still go either way, this one. It could still turn out to be a decent day for Manchester City, though. It could be two points clear if it stays like this. As Fernando Torres now has a chance, he's all on his own though. Inside the Manchester United half, Evans snakes a leg in and just manages to get it on the ball. Scholes is having problems going around Essien, but you've got to say United are the likely, likely team. Park's got the ball, but Howard Webb is committed to the whistle. And Chelsea are arguing and two players are not looking at the play. They weren't concentrating. And it's Wayne Rooney setting off now for Manchester United. Rooney forced wide by Gary Cahill. Gets the ball into the penalty area. Ivanovic is there as assured as ever, though, to bring the ball away from trouble and find matter. Chelsea 3, Manchester United 3 on 5 Live and BBC World Service. All that after Chelsea went into a 3-0 lead. Now Morelis. Rare moments for Chelsea now building inside United's half. Romeo. Romeo onto Mata. Can Mata do it again here for Chelsea? 
finds Maluda. In comes the cross. It should be headed away by Ferdinand. It wasn't dealt with very convincingly, though, by Ferdinand. He should have headed this away out of the penalty area, but he's conceded a corner. And could it be costly? Yeah, had a lot more time than he thought there. Should, should have got a call from Evra, who was behind him, who could have easily chested it down. Uh, and, and back to De Gea and they would have regained possession instead of giving away the corner. Two minutes of normal time. Chelsea have the players for the set pieces. Corner kick is taken for them. Oh, De Gea was pushed, I thought. But referee says play on. And United are struggling to clear here. And Valencia now he does well for Manchester United. And Park is on the ball, feeding Valencia once more. Red shirts now trying to join in midfield. Chelsea three, Manchester United three. Carrick with a crossfield ball over Luis. Uh, brought down by Ryan Giggs. Good play from United. Giggs now looking for Everett to make a run forward. Back comes the covering defender, and Everett tumbles over, and it's out of play for Chelsea throwing. Great contest. Well, it is. It's end to end now. There's bound to be one, if not two, more chances in this game, and it's all about you know who can keep their composure under pressure and who can tuck it away. And don't forget, Alan Green stays here to provide this week's Sunday 6:06. Call Allen with all your thoughts on everything that's happening in football. The Skulls now scrambles to win the ball, and Rooney's ball towards Park was overhit. And Chelsea looking to clear through Basingwa. Valencia was in strongly on Maluda, but Maluda has good close control. It's back again to Basingwa down that Chelsea left hand side. Long one from him towards Mata. Evans is there with a header away, and uh, Valencia manages to keep it in, and United are back in business again on the halfway line. Little triangle down that right-hand side, and now it comes towards us across the field with Rio Ferdinand. Ferdinand to Rooney, this time a great touch from Rooney just inside Chelsea's half. United playing from right to left here. Scholes, who has made a difference. Scholes now down the centre, looking to find Park. Out comes Czech, Danny. Yeah, Scholes just looking to dink it over the back four, overhit it slightly. Again, United, well, have they got possibly a minute plus injury time? to get back it well not get back into it to carry on and, and win this game four minutes i think have added time here as david louise now with the long hair is allowed to run a long way with the ball for chelsea then he's just hauled over by skulls who shakes his fist at referee howard webb but this could be a chance for chelsea this well, could be a chance we've seen louise take free kicks from this area is someone going to have a smash at goal here or will someone try and put something in the air for somebody here well again just seeing the replay of the free kick and well, I'm not sure why Howard Webb's given that. David Luiz knocks it to the sides and just dives into Paul Scholes. We are 40 seconds into four minutes of added time. Juan Mata has been involved in all of the goals. I think he's going to go for goal here. And uh, Mata uh, could fancy this for Chelsea in added time here. Big, big space, Mike, at the mm. near post that the Hay is leaving. Mata poised, 25 yards away from the Manchester United goal into added time. 3-3, Matters strike and De Gea covers it and got a touch to it and gets a pat on the head as well from Rio Ferdinand. And it's going to be a corner kick to Chelsea near side. Wow, that, that's a fantastic save. Might have just been hit well. I'd say creeping in. Corner kick is taken, it'll be headed away at the near post by Ryan Giggs. And Hernandez had more time on the ball, but he's just knocked it straight back to Basingua and Chelsea. Added time at Stamford Bridge, a minute and a half played of it. As Basingua at the moment going nowhere over on the left-hand side. Policed by Valencia. And Valencia gets his foot in. An amazing and save, Mike. Step. That was creeping in. That would, have, that would have skimmed the inside of the post and gone to the top corner. I thought there was a big gap, but he did fantastically well to get across and save that. And then, oh, which makes us even more baffled about him, doesn't it, really? Well, that's the thing. You know, he can pull off magnificent saves like that one, which is definitely... Uh, kept United in this game. Carrick's ball over the top looking for Hernandez. Instead, it may run to Park down the right-hand side. Park, in the end, has to settle for the throw-in. Incredible finale here at Stamford Bridge. We have two minutes of added time following the throw-in to United. Rooney's ball in, which Luis will head out of the penalty area for Chelsea. And Morales' weak clearance drops straight to Evera. How costly could that be? Giggs now, left-hand side. Ball played into Evera. Evera's won a corner kick off Romeo. And the United fans bounce up and down away to our left. They got the corner, so at the moment they are the likelier team to win the game. With a minute and a half of added time to go. It's a Manchester United corner. They come from 3-0 down here to show their qualities once more. It's a corner to them which Giggs will take. In goes the corner kick and it bounces off Torres' chest. Johnny Evans was unable to get it, but it's not cleared yet by Chelsea. 
Valencia for Manchester United. Park back to Carrick. Carrick tries a shot all along the ground. Check will save those for the rest of the day. All right, there was also appeals for another penalty in there. I think Johnny Evans, well, maybe got a, a little bit of contact, but you expect that from a corner. Chelsea, uh, Man United fans wanted a penalty. I don't think Howard Webb was going to give a third. Would 3-3 be fair in the end or not, Danny? What do you think? Well, it's very, very difficult. We'll just see it again. I think the appeals were for actually for uh, handball on Torres. Um, Alan's just pointing that out, but I, th I think it hits his midriff. I just uh, wonder whether either, you feel either of the sides here today has done enough to justify the three points. Well, you, you know, United mm. done fantastically well to come back. Giggs down the set. Oh, Hernandez is offside. 30 Chelsea, seconds to go. Chelsea did incredibly well, um, you know, after half time. Brilliant goal from Juan Mata. Against the runner play in the first half, you know, really kept United with, with long shots from distance. That's all they managed in the first half. And then 3-0 up, I thought Chelsea were cruising. United got back into it with a couple of soft-ish penalties, if you like. But fantastic credit to Manchester United. How many times have we seen ten, them? Ten seconds come back? to go of added time as Fernando Torres has the ball by the corner flag down the Chelsea left. United are going to struggle to win the game now because the ball is with Chelsea. If there's a goal now, it'll come from the home side. But Singh was running square. It comes to Gary Cahill on his debut. Cahill shot! Just over! Just over and De Gea got his fingers to it. So it's going to be a corner kick to Chelsea over on the left-hand side. Again, fantastic shot. Unbelievable. I'm not sure it was going in, but De Gea certainly couldn't take any chances and just get his fingertips to palm it over corner to Chelsea deep into added time United eventually volleyed away and Howard Webb throws for the final time in an incredible game here Chelsea 1-0 at half time 3-0 five minutes into the second half Matter involved in all three goals great ball from Torres as well to make Matter's goal and then Manchester United coming back through two Rooney penalties Remember, they thought they should have had a penalty in the first half. And then the goal, which has earned them a point here from Hernandez, header from Giggs's cross. It means Manchester City now lead the Premier League by two points. But it's been fantastic entertainment on this cold day. Danny Mills. Well, incredible. An average first half. Uh, Chelsea scored against the run of play. Fantastic second half. You know, Chelsea on fire. Fantastic goals uh, early on. Brilliant ball from Fernando Torres and a great volley. Uh, from one matter and then Chelsea went 3-0 up and you thought that's it game over but United as we know they never ever give up got back into it with a, a softish penalty I thought the second penalty was very very harsh Ivanovic for me my man of the match that's the way you had to play against pace when you're a fullback I thought he was excellent today uh, but then again United never ever give up go to the very very end and that could be a massive turning point had they have lost here today you know, I think that would have given an awful lot of impetus to City. Suddenly United have said, yes, we were down, but we managed to come back yet again. Still only lost once away from home. I guess at this stage of the season now, we're running out of games. It's a result which probably doesn't do either of the teams any favours. It is a draw, one point each, but it was a thrilling game, a thrilling second half. Final score here at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea 3, Manchester United 3. Just a couple of other points, um, Danny. Do, which manager do you think will be um, most happy with that result? Uh, well, I think both will have their grievances. Um, I think, obviously, Sir Alex Ferguson coming back from 3-0 down will be absolutely delighted with that. You know, they can use that as a platform to say, yes, you know, we were down, we were out, but look at the character in our team, look how we turned it around. I think Sir Alex will be very, very upset with the, well, the lack of a penalty in the first half, but after that, I, I thought they were given two... Well, one, for me, wasn't a penalty, and the other one was a, a soft penalty that Howard Webb didn't have to give. I think Sir Alex Ferguson will be happier. 3-0 up at home. Chelsea, again, that's, that's almost disastrous. Yeah, the thing about Manchester United, they, they, they do force penalties, don't they? Against Stoke, they had two. They probably could have had another two. Today, they probably could have had three, four. But it's just the way they play, isn't it? Or, or is it the way the game's going now? No, well, what they do, they, they have this uh, air of almost arrogance where they keep passing it. They have a belief. Um, and they keep working the ball. And, you know, and they pull players around and they get players into the box. And of course now, in this day and age, where it's very, very difficult to make any sort of tackle inside the box, players' feet you know, and skills are so sharp, so quick, it does make it very, very tricky for defenders. Uh, and that's what happened to Devay. But I think still, there will be a lot to discuss, uh, certainly about that second penalty award. Yeah, you can do it on 606. The lines are open now, 0500 909 693. We'll be with Alan Green for 606 in just a moment's time. So uh, just looking at the top, Danny, Manchester City, 57 points. Manchester United now, 55 points. 
Tottenham 49 points and Newcastle in the picture again in fifth place uh, with 42 points, Chelsea 43. What, what um, do you think Tottenham will have made of today's result? And do they have to win tomorrow at Liverpool? No, I, I don't think they do. I think realistically, whoever finishes, if anybody above Manchester United, uh, I think they will go on and win the title. I think the, the title will certainly go uh, to a team in Manchester. Tottenham have done fantastically well this season. And, and I think, you know, they third place is theirs uh, for the taking. Uh, but there's a massive clamour uh, for fourth place. Obviously, Newcastle coming right into it now. Of course, they're, they're, their new striker, uh, Papa Cissé, scoring today. Denver Bar has been on fantastic form all season. Arsenal, you know, well, they'll want to finish fourth as well. Of course, you've also got Chelsea in there, you know, and possibly even Liverpool. So a, a massive game tomorrow night as well. So you're counting out Sunderland then? <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, I <laughs> the way they're so. playing. Well, you know, Martin O'Neill's done some fantastic things, but I, I think that's a, a step too far. Yeah, and, and just a word about, I mean, one doesn't like to go on about referees because it is, it's so fast now, football, and with one official in the middle of the park, you wonder how they manage to keep up. But a word about Howard Webb's performance today? Well, I, I said at half-time I, I thought he was poor uh, and made a lot of poor decisions. Uh, not major decisions, but just the little decisions he, he seemed to be getting wrong. It was very, very difficult uh, for him, to, I think, to, to see uh, and give the penalty, although his assistant probably should have given it. Uh, but then in the second half, I think, you know, that the first one ever was a, a touch soft. Uh, and the second one, for me, Ivanovic does, does nothing wrong. He pulls out of the tackle uh, and I think Welbeck throws himself over his leg uh, and earns the penalty. And again, players will do this and will ask referees to make calls and, and referees have to uh, learn a little bit quicker and understand what players are doing. Thanks very much indeed, Danny. Danny Mills, who's been our summariser today. Um, I think I'm going to go for a world record. What is the world record for just non-stop watching and listening to sport? I'm going to try and go right through to the Super Bowl tomorrow morning. See if I can do it. I'll probably lose consciousness or something. Newcastle are up to fifth in the Premier League after their 2-1 win. Rangers lost 2-0 to Dundee United. A late penalty from Lee Halfman. He won Wales against uh, Ireland. They're opening Six Nations Rugby Union match and in the Super League there were wins today for Catalan and for Huddersfield Hull and Warrington drew 20 all also tonight as I mentioned the Super Bowl tomorrow night Liverpool against Tottenham next it's 6.06 coming up with Alan Green of course uh, and earlier in the programme we just could confirm that Stuart Downing we mentioned in conversation earlier who was told he would face no further charges this week after being arrested on suspicion of assault last month okay it's time for 6.06 with Alan Green but first the latest BBC News with Richard Foster